we're back. back. 275 FM. FM. You're listening to me. <sighs> Sorry. It's not we, yeah, yeah, it's, it's L.A. Noir. Uh, Pat left a P. Yeah, yeah what, what a bummer. bummer. Sorry. I don't. I, we, we might, might have, have to not play L.A. Noir today. today. Because, uh, like, we, we were, sorry, here, we were playing for, like, a good, like, three, four minutes, and I was, like, you know, there, that's not reverb, I, w- I was playing around with, with the thing. thing. Um, We were playing for, like, a good three, four minutes, like, I opened up the radio. Um, What a bummer. Should we, hey, Pat, should we play Nikkei? Cause like I I think we're gonna have to like postpone L.A. Noir tonight. Like I, it keeps crashing everything. So I do apologize. Yeah, I want to play Nike. What is Nike like? They're booby. Should we do Nike? No. Why not? No. no? Why? Oh, we'd have to. Oh, thanks, hon. What? <laughs> oh. Sorry, wrong, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, you stream like my grandpa takes photos. I'm so, oh my god, I'm so, I'm sorry. Hello. Um, do you uh, do you want? What do you want to do? I want to take. I want to take the non-existent fucking uh, disc. I don't have. Break of it. L.A. Noir and fucking break it. I'm sorry. Well, okay. You know, do you... Okay, we can... We can do the autism test. We can do... Uh... We can do Nike. What do you want to do? Oh, I I was serious. That's, that's all I want to do. I want to destroy items <sighs> relating to L.A. Noir. Okay, well, I don't think that that is the mature way to handle this. I think we could just... Do anything else. What do you think? Okay. Hey, how long were yeah. we gone, guys? Like, for real? Oh, like, yeah, like three minutes. Oh, that's... It's so extra bad tonight, specifically. Yeah, I don't know. What a bummer. Ugh. Yeah, today kind of sucked. Yeah. It froze when you looked at the plaque. Yeah, that was ages ago. That was, like, two or three minutes. You mentioned easily. Quebec and vanished... Oh, that's why somebody said Quebec's Revenge. Yeah, yeah. Oh. FF9 would be cute. So long, though. Yeah, very, very long. And, you know, uh, yeah. All right, let's 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 try this test. Wow. You're going to be so much fun while I do it. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm, I get so upset Pat, when the ship on. breaks. We only get to do this, like, once. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. What was me. that? Oh, just oh, the, this the thing, armors. yeah. Um, we only get to do this like once a week, man. Wait, is Come the stream on. choppy for every? Wait, what? Is it choppy? Really? Really? What is going on today? No. All right. Yeah. So you know, lighten up. We could just talk. You don't want to talk. You won't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. I want to be grumpy. You're, you're you're being you're being a big baby about it. No offense. With with love, with peace, love, and respect, it's not a big deal. We have, we have plenty of time. We can hang out. If Brandon McNamara hadn't been fired by the studio closing because he's a bad manager, I'd want to fight him. <sighs> Patrick, okay. Do you want to play Nikkei? I, I don't... no, I don't. Oh, why? Because I don't want to. I I, I played oh. it for the for the stream yesterday. What about me? This, but, is, this is about wait, me now. Wait, what? You just asked me if I wanted no, no, to play no. Nikkei. No, you know what I mean. Me play it and you're here. If you want, you'll have to use your own email and uh, sign up for it. Uh, well, what about... I mean, do you have any other suggestions? Or are you going to help me out? I mean, we can... Or you just want to sit there and seethe and cope and maul. I do, I do like that, <laughs> whatever actually. The, whatever the words are now. Come on. Don't be a stick in the mud. I, Paige, you can. We can either do the test or we can play. We we can set you up with a Nikkei account. And you could try. We can. You can have your Nikkei and and eat it too. All right. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to have me do an, an awesome? An, I almost said an awesome test. 
I do that awesome Congrats, test. you're awesome. <laughs> I'm awesome. Uh, the audio is not out of sync. Out just of sync. refresh. Um, or, so, the test, we can play Nike. Yeah, throw a poll up on there. Yeah, will someone make can I uh, Can I vote on the poll? Wait, is it? It can't be autism and gooning. No, it's versus goon. Okay, gooning is Nike, right? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's. Def- oh, that's man. That's pretty close, guys. All right, I need you to vote. Vote your heart. Oh, more shit. Like, 50 50. More guys. like Pokemon go to the do polls. Do you want me to goon or do you want me to. I don't. Uh, Chew. Spoon? No. We can spoon? No. We can cuddle? If Jack gets it 50-50, I owe you 10 gift subs. I still don't understand what that is for. What do you mean? Aut- autism would be doing the test and... No, no, no. What gift subs... Like, why a streamer would give gift subs out to themselves. What are you talking about? That was Queequeg. Yeah. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What? <laughs> What are you talking about? But when you gift when you gift a gift sub to somebody, oh, oh that we wait. No, what? what oh, fuck, I'm so dumb. I, hold on. What did Quick Quick actually say? I want to make sure because now this I'm is confused. hard. I'm I'm old and I don't. As a reward for chat getting it, to, wait that Pat would. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you give. Yeah, you give it to other people. Why not? Because it's nice to do, Pat. Do you ever think about doing nice things for other people? Huh? Is it? Yes, it's nice to do. Giving out gift subs to people encourages repeat subs? It does? I I don't know know how subscriptions... Oh, I thought it was just nice to do. I don't know how subscriptions work on Twitch. You work here. Yeah. I don't... Pat... How does it do that? Well, because people get the 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 emotes that you know the, the privilege of having like your emotes for the month, right. and then they're like, then when the time's up, they're like, oh, I actually still want that, and then they'll re up. But if they wanted the emotes, wouldn't they have just gotten the sub? Hey Pat, what if you just did something nice for someone else? Wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be so cool to do for someone? Such as your viewers, wouldn't that be wild to do? Okay. Okay. Um, so I, I see we've already started the test. I don't get it. Patrick, please. Uh, no. Yeah, you can. Yeah. All right. So, so the the test has definitively won. So if you're right. if you if you have to goon, you're gonna have to goon yourself. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to take this test. I'm ready. Should we tweet that we're doing this? Does it? I mean, do, would pe- do people want to see this? They probably want to see this. Okay, it's up to you. Do you want do you want to make a tweet that Paige is going to take an autism test? Hello, Susie. It appears that chat wants me to take a test to find out if I have autism. Or if I should be evaluated oh, for autism. Perhaps. I understand why I don't understand. Oh, we should change the the yeah, channel. Yeah, I'll, I'll manage yeah. that. Thank it. you. Do I have autism? I'm a little scared. <laughs> is goon masturbate? I think. Goon, yeah, yeah. Oh, so is. okay. The so the yes. But I think in this in this um, context, autism would be should I take the autism test, or gooning, which is should I play uh, Nike? But they're really both the test if you is think gooning about it. Edging? No. I have no idea. No. Oh, my hair looks like shit. All right, let's. Uh... Yeah. What do you want me to do? Uh, just type in. Uh, just no. no, don't type in gooning. Gooning in the category. All right, what? what? Uh, just chatting, I guess. Just chatting. There we go. All right. Now we actually got to find the. Wait, stu- shit. We got to change the title though. Oh yeah. Uh. uh say at autism. No, no, I like. Oh. 
I'm gonna beat you. That, yeah, that yeah, that yeah, was yeah. like a little threatening there. Oh, <laughs> did it? Okay. Yeah, it was, was a question mark. Yeah. Oh lord. There we go. All right, now let's go. Uh... All right. Oh boy. Gooning sucks I'm, as a slang. I'm so I used... scared. Yeah. All right. I'm like genuinely. Where are we where are we headed? Uh, I think Queequeg. Uh... All right, I'll I'll load up my Discord and see. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where are we where are we headed, bro? Uh, Queequeg, will you send uh the? Would you send me some ah, of your autism oh. over the internet, please? Oh boy. Gooning is a sexual practice that involves maintaining sexual arousal for an extended period of time without reaching orgasm. So edging, okay. Oh, it's edging. Huh. Okay. Why is it called gooning? I have no idea. Didn't Queequeg send you the test? Yeah, that's why. I'm, uh, Queequeg, will you will you send it to Pat? Yeah, send it to Pat. If it helps, the best these tests can do is suggest you want to talk to a psychologist. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, although, from what I understand, even in the office, a lot of them will use these tests. I have no idea. All right, what do we got? That's what I have heard. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, but HarmonyHub.ai? This that, doesn't seem... AI? This doesn't seem like the RADS R test. Yeah, is the, what the, the kind of... The more officially one. I'm very confused. This does not... This looks... Is that the correct... This looks like a fucking personality quiz. That's the official one in the UK? The Harmony really? Hub one? Harmony Hub? No? Here's the Rads R. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to look at this. Did you tweet what we're doing? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Okay, this is the one. I don't see that you tweeted. I don't see it. Really? Yeah, it just says we're live. Is our internet just, like, fucked? What's happening? I doubt it. I'm absolutely certain. Nope, I don't see it. Huh. It is bright as what fuck. What the fuck? I don't know. Are we having, like, internet issues? Oh, uh, Nino Yihia wants to know, uh, does the skeleton have a name? Yeah, that's my skeleton. That's Skelmo. He's a, he's a long, uh, standing member of, uh, of our family. Look Long time ago. Look at, like, we're so pasty. Or at least I am. No problem, Nino. There we go. That should do it. Post. That's what happens when you goon for too long. Okay, there's, uh... I posted it again, and it didn't post. Do you, do you want me to post it? Wait, no, I'll post Pat, it on this fucking... Pat is red. Yeah, I'm always red. Okay, duration 10 to 30 minutes. Is that okay? Yeah. We got plenty of time to kill. I'm so, I'm so nervous. Why am I nervous? I shouldn't... I'm not nervous. I'm a little nervous. What if... Oh, man. Okay, how honest do I have to be? <laughs> how honest do I have to be? <laughs> You have to be extremely oh, honest, Paige. Of course. Fuck. And of course I'm doing this wearing like Okay, it's it's specifically the Twitter app on my phone is a piece of shit. Yeah. So that's yeah. great. That's super. Alright. So do you want to pull this up on the screen, I assume? Uh I mean do, uh, I guess so, right? Yeah, so that, so that can, people can know. Yeah, that they you're, you can you're you not, can follow along. You're not faking it. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I'm starting to get really scared now. Why are you scared? I don't now? know, because what if All right, we're here. what if what if what if at the end it's just like <laughs> like the what if at the end it's just like bitch? Like you know what I mean? Like you are you love it. You love it. What if that's the case? What? what? And then all these things fall into you place. You are you love it? Yeah, you are you love it. <laughs> What does oh, that no. fucking mean? Oh no, I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. No, it's fine. 
What does that mean? Oh my god, I don't know. That's what... so strange. Dude, I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm autistic, but I'm also scared that I'm not autistic. You know what I'm saying? No. You don't. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Am I gonna pass, guys? I don't understand you at I, all. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass this. Test. I love you, wife, but I don't understand you, wife. I'm gonna pass wife. this test. I'm gonna win. I win. Oh God, it's so. Is there like a night mode? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> autistic people don't need night mode. No. All right, here we go. It's it's seriously so bright. Is there any? I mean, I can turn the brightness down. Is there any way you could do that? Because holy shit, yeah, that no, is. Yeah, no, I do it. That is a lot. Yeah, no, I have the brightness big. Because I was playing something, oh, and, I, yeah. and I couldn't see anything. Okay. And I was like, man, this is so dark. I don't know why it is. And then someone's like, turn the brightness up, you fucking idiot. Okay. I was like, oh, damn it. All right, let me know when. Let me know when. Let me know when. Darker. Darker? Darker, darker than this? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's... Okay, fine. A little lighter, then. I'm going to kick it up to 50, Sensory man. Sensory sensitivity issues are as immune. No, dude, this is, like, blinding. Okay. All right. All right. That should do it. All right. Okay. Uh, All right. Should we fade to the thing? It's oh yeah. Yes, it didn't, it didn't fade to it. Autism. See. Okay. All right. All right. Here, here go. you go. We did it. Okay. So is, is this is this the one? This is the rad czar. Yeah. Okay. This is the self. So this is the um. This is a self. See, this is so well, bright. The, I yeah. can't change it on there, and they're well, just gonna have to deal with it. I, Pat, we gotta do something. There's it's nothing to bright. do. Well, but it's blind. Okay. Should we take it off the screen? Let's maybe we should take it off the screen or not or I don't know what to do. Yeah, there's is there a dark mode extension? I don't, Surely. I don't know what that means. <sighs> okay, so so wait, do you guys do you guys want me to leave it on? Yeah, leave the lights on. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. Uh, the Ritbo. Autism Asperger Diagnostic Scale Revised uh, is a self-report questionnaire designed to identify adult autistics who, quote, escape diagnosis due to a subclinical level presentation. Ah, they escaped. Gotta, gotta recapture. They got out. All right, so there's 80 statements. It's 10 to 30 minutes. The screening tool, la, 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 la. tra la, la, la. Okay. All right, so we take it here. So it was revised from the 2008 test. Oh Christ, I'm so nervous. I'm getting like you. This is your idea. You've I been, know. You've I know. Been, I'm you've been to dignity this. chickening me with this know, fucking autism test. There's a flag in Chrome to force dark mode. How do you do it? Because like I would love to have dark mode. Because this is ridiculous. How do you do it? How How do you do that? How do you do it? So if you would like to take the test with me. It's an extension that's not high contrast mode in Windows. That. I'm not uh, no, I'm not downloading extensions in the middle of a stream after we had OBS crash twice Dark because of technical extension? stuff. Dark reader extension. That seems Just leave it bright. All right, whatever. <laughs> Let's we'll just do it. We'll... Hell already got it. He escaped. Fuck it. We'll, we'll do it live. All right, ready, set. Here we go. There we go. Oh my god, that was so All fast. Right, well. The rads are, please read each statement below and choose the, oh, and choose the answer that best fits your experiences during social interactions. I am a sympathetic person. True now, and when I was young, true only now, true only when I was younger than 16. Never true. I, yeah. I often use words and phrases from movies and television in conversations. Yeah. You know. I'm often surprised when others tell me I have been rude. <laughs> I mean... Very occasionally, but I guess, yeah, never true. Or sorry, yeah, never true. I'm not surprised. So, well, well, can you help me with that? You're somewhat surprised really? sometimes. I would not say that it is above average for you. Then, then how? What? Which one would suit me? Never true. Okay. Sometimes I, I talk. I didn't know you before you were 16, though. So. That's true. My, my mom is probably watching. <laughs> She's, was I surprised as a child? I was often, like, surprised. I'd go, oh. Sometimes I talk too loudly or softly, and I'm not aware of it. Um, not really. No. no. Uh, I often don't know how to act in social situations. I mean, there's, like, a couple of times where I'm a little, like... 
You know how to act. You just think you botched it later. Yeah. So, so would what do you think this one or again? I didn't know you when you were. Well, no, because I, I think when I was younger, mm-hmm. uh, I can put myself in other people's shoes. Absolutely. I have a hard time figuring out what some phrases mean. Like you are the apple of my eye. No, are you. Well, no. I mean, very occasionally. I only like to talk to people who share my special interests. No. I focus on details rather than the... Special interest. Special interest. I focus on details rather than the overall idea. Um... Oh, Corioto says that the before slash after 16 years old is really important, actually. Okay. So you... you I can't double check you on 16. that. 16. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, tr- I'll try to really think about it. Focus on details rather than the overall idea. Um, you know what? I think that's true now. I always notice how food feels in my mouth. This is more important to me than how it tastes. No. I miss my best friends or family when we are apart for a long time. You know what? Well, I mean, I mean, yes, but like, I'm not like, you know, I'm just like, oh, I miss them. Is that what it's? That's literally what it says. Okay. All right. Then, uh, yeah, sure. Sometimes I offend others by saying what I'm thinking, even if I don't mean to. Um. You don't. I mean. I guess, yeah. Or very seldomly, maybe. Vomiting yeah. isn't scary, losers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, that's that's a whole thing. Uh, I only like to think and talk about a few things that interest me. No, I like talking about a lot of things. I'd rather go out to eat in a restaurant by myself than with someone I know. No, I I love I I will say this. There, I think it is a shame that um, that uh, people don't enjoy. Uh, going out to eat at restaurants by themselves. Oh, I think I, it's, it's I, really it's really nice. I like it. I I gave up on that when like I wanted to go. Like I, I had like, hey, you guys want to go out and have dinner? And they were like, yeah. And then like everybody had to cancel, but I had come all the way in town. Mm. So I'm fuck it. I'm gonna do it. And then it was like it was nice. And then I was like, fuck this. I'm not gonna fucking. I'm not gonna fucking not go out to eat somewhere nice just because I everybody canceled. Uh, I cannot imagine what it would be like to be someone else. Uh, no, I, I, I actually, re- weirdly, I really enjoy, like, trying to think about being in someone else's shoes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been told that I am clumsy or uncoordinated. Absolutely. Yes. Big time. Others consider me odd or different. You got those banana legs. Am I odd and, and, and or different? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Yeah, and when I was young. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Uh, I understand when friends need to be comforted. Absolutely. I am very sensitive to the way my clothes feel when I touch them. How they feel is more important to me than how they look. No. I like to copy the way certain people speak and act. It, it helps me appear more normal. No. That one's a little on the nose, isn't it? Jesus. It can be very intimidating for me to talk to more than one person at the same time. Um, this is hard because, like, sometimes there's times where I'm, like, just not in the mood for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I, I guess it, I guess, no. Uh, I have to act normal to please other people and make them like me. You know... I, I like you. Oh, well, I I felt that way, but then in practice, it's it's like never. Yeah, people true. like weirdos. People, people, but you feel that way. Yeah, so I guess oh, I don't know. That's this is really tricky because like I wish I wish there was like a like a slider. Uh, I mean there is a slider. It's just. Yeah, it's just, but it's know. age sliding, not. Uh, yeah. Um, act normal to please other people. Yeah, Q, 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 cucumber five 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 says Twitch doesn't count because we're not a physical presence. Yeah, it's it's wild how differently and how strongly 
having a physical eyeball in the vicinity matters. That's true. That's true. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I don't feel like I have to. I don't know. Meeting new people is usually easy for me. Absolutely. I get highly confused when someone interrupts me when I'm talking about something I am very interested in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You definitely. Truly now. Yeah. It is difficult for me to understand how other people are feeling when we are talking. No. I like having a conversation with several pe- several people, for instance, around a dinner table at school or at work. Yes, I like that. I take things too literally, so I often miss what people are trying to say. It is very difficult for me to understand when someone is embarrassed or jealous. No. Huh, those are really specific emotions to point out. Well, I think because they're, I mean, I have no idea. My suspicion is because they're a little bit more uh, complicated than happy and sad, you oh, know? okay. Uh, quick page, what is your special Musical interest? Musical theater. I have lots of special interests. Yeah, but the number one with a bullet. You are you are an so, expert at musical theater. I, I actually am not. Really? Yeah. So so here's something sad I actually learned about Pat recently. You don't know me very well at all. But whenever we talk you don't about know. any musical theater stuff, you just Pat, immediately have all this information. Yes, Pat, because I have a lot of experience and you know I've lived a lot of life. I, it, that doesn't make it my special interest. In fact, I I don't know anything about the last like 15 years of musical theater. Like I know very little. Very little. Most of my musical theater knowledge is like 2005 and below. Like I like, I, honestly, I like, I like musicals from like the 40s to like the 80s the best. But I'm, yeah. Time for divorce. No, I don't mean like you don't know me. It's just like there's some things where I'm like, oh, really? You think this about me? You know? Yeah. Oh, is that, are you okay? Oh, don't be sad. It's okay. Don't worry. We have so much time for you to, to learn all kinds of crazy bullshit. Mm. Are you sad? No, I'm fine. What's wrong? I'm using you my ju- powers of empathy. I feel like you just described a special interest. My powers of <laughs> empathy okay i'm sorry you're like oh i'm not even into it i only like the ones from these specific years no, to I, these no, specific no, no, years no, no, no. no i i it's not that i don't have a special interest <laughs> i have multiple special interests and i would not really consider musical theater to really be one of them not really what would you des- um, describe as number one then It's tricky. Well, one of them is uh, I actually am very interested in uh, jewels. Mm-hmm. I, lo- I look at jewels every day. I love looking at jewels. Wait, I, you look at jewels every day? I look at jewels day? every fucking day, Pat. I am looking at jewels. I love jewels. I love, I fucking love jewels. I love, I love, I love shiny things. Uh, some ordinary I'm 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 a I'm a crow. <laughs> some ordinary textures that do not bother others feel very offensive when they touch my skin. I mean nobody really likes those microfiber towels that like stick to your hands. I don't those think are... I've ever touched one. We have one at the house and you hate to touch oh, it. Oh that fucking that thing. That fucking I thing. I hate that fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. No, they're awful. Ugh. They're awful. So uh eh, but I mean otherwise. I, everyone know, thinks those are offensive. Yeah, they're all they're all they're all terrible. Uh, I get extremely upset when the way I like to do things is suddenly changed. I mean, I mean, I get, see this, these are so dependent on like they're not the context. No, it is like, like if I'm going on like a trip and I've got like a plan, generalized questions. You know what? I will say true only now. They're specifically generalized. I have never wanted or needed to have what other people call an intimate relationship. Oh, that's absolutely That's definitely no, not true. Absolutely no. not. Uh, it is difficult for me to start and stop a conversation. I need to keep going until I'm finished. No. I speak with a normal rhythm. Relatively. Uh, the same sound, color, or texture can suddenly change from very sensitive to very dull. Wait, why would that happen? I don't know. That's really interesting. I don't know why that would ha- So I guess no, but I don't know why that would happen. 
Uh, the phrase, I've got you under my skin, makes me uncomfortable. No. Sometimes the sound of a word or high-pitched noise can be painful to my ears. I mean... No. They don't mean like... Like a shriek? Like a... Like a... Ba- oh, okay. Or whatever. Okay. I'm an understanding type of person. I feel... I, I think so. I, hope, I like to think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do not connect with characters in movies and cannot feel what they feel. Okay, wait. That's... Okay. Now I'm actually confused by the description oh, there. Oh, God. What? What do you mean? Because, like, when when I'm watching a movie and the character is angry, uh-huh. I'm not sitting there going, I'm also angry. No, 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 no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not like, oh, I feel everything this character feels. But if if the writing is well done and all this stuff, do, do you ever feel sad? Like, if a character's crying, at, at, like, near the end of the movie and it's a really sad movie. Okay. Simba. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, Lion King. When Simba goes up to Mufasa and is like, wake up, dad. Yeah, no, that's very sad. Yeah, do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. But that's not... That's, that's not, an empathy question. Yeah, but that's not... I'm not feeling what Simba's feeling. I'm feeling what the movie is telling me to feel. Well, yeah, but Simba is sad. And, like, that's a sad thing when, you know, your your father might die. So, like, you feel what they are feeling because, because it's happening. Mm-hmm. And it's sad. You you, yeah. you feel empathy for Simba during yeah. Mufasa's death. You know what this reminds me of? Do you remember that old Ikea commercial about the shitty lamp? No. no. So there's an old Ikea commercial uh-huh. where uh, this lady bought a lamp and she took her old lamp and put it outside on the curb and she looks out the window and it's like raining on the lamp and there's sad music. Oh, yeah. And this weird Swedish guy shows up and goes, oh, you feel sad for the lamp, but that doesn't make any sense. It is just lamp, and the new one is much better. Go buy lamp at Ikea. It, <laughs> hey, is is the way that I phrase that to Pat, is that, would you say that's correct, or am I, did I just completely misread that? No, I get what you say. No, 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 I want to ask, I want to ask them, because cause I, I want to make sure I'm not misreading the, is that correct, would you say? Okay. Mm-hmm. I am not a robot, you motherfucker. I cannot Beep, tell. Boop your shit off. I cannot tell when someone is flirting with me. I absolutely can. I can see in my mind in exact detail things that I am interested in. Um. No, because like, it's it's that it's you know that like this, how this, do you see the apple? This, this, I can see like a vague outline of the apple. This fucking question is always so complicated because. There's oh. people that answer it and go no, but actually can do it because like the way that that question is always described is as if you are have internal vision mm. and like you're seeing it through your eyes so, when you close it. So here's when when I I can't see things, right? Like like <laughs> 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 No, I can't if I think about something, I can't quite see it. I can see like you know, a vague outline. But if I think about like the apple, I can smell the apple and I can even almost taste the apple. Mm -hmm. Right. Especially like if I think about a specific kind or like a flower and I, and I can like not feel the flower, but I can like, yeah. So like if I have a, if I have, if I think about like a green, I can't picture it like a green apple. I can picture the green apple, the stem, the shine on it in the supermarket. Like the, I can rotate it in my mind. I can flip it, but I'm not seeing it right well, now. I'm seeing no. the computer and well, the. No, no, no. This is this is talking about in your mind's eye. So when you think, when you're looking at it in your mind's eye, yeah. like you are, that's what it's talking about. It's not saying, do you literally see an apple? Mm-hmm. That might be an evaluation for a completely different kind of test, yeah. you know. <laughs> but like, yeah, no, you are. Vi- to visualize it, you are you are like imagining it. Mm-hmm. So you you do have an imagination. I think you just no because apples exist. Right, but I've seen an apple. Right, but are you okay? Um, right, but you are imagining the apple in your mind is not an apple that has existed. It probably is. It's not. Because it's an amalgamation of every apple you've ever seen, probably. And so your mind has created this version of an apple. Is the apple blue or purple? All right. Well, it's blurple. I, 
I keep lists of things that interest me, even when they have no practical use. For example, sports, <coughs> me, sports you, statistics, you. train schedules, calendar dates, historical facts, and dates. So, true now, actually. Yeah, very true now. I um I do a lot of extensive journaling, but that's because I find it therapeutic and I find it really fun. Um, and I like to scrapbook, but I'm I'm not like <laughs> about it, you know. Uh, when I feel overwhelmed by my senses, I have to isolate myself to shut them down. No. I like to talk things over with my friends. Oh, my God, yes. Yes. Uh, I cannot tell if someone is interested or bored with what I'm saying. Um, I mean, there's times when I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, oh, I hope they're interested. But, and then, but then there's times where I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm losing their interest, and I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm correct. And then mm. I, like, tactfully excuse myself from the conversation. So I guess, mm -hmm. I guess I don't, it's incorrect for me to say never true. Right. That's not, uh, no, I, I know I'm no, overthinking Paige, it, but... it's saying I cannot tell. Oh, okay. As in right. you do not have the yeah, ability. Okay, so, no. uh, it can be very hard to read someone's face, hand and body movements when they're talking. No. Uh, I find that pretty easy. The same thing like clothes or temperature uh, can feel very different to me at different times. No. Mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable with dating and being in social situations with others. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. I try to be as helpful as I can when other people tell me their personal problems. Yes. I have been told that I have an unusual voice. For example, flat, monotone, childish, or high-pitched. High I don't... Oh, like a pixie voice? Hello? Wait, that's just, that's just I don't British. Think I, I don't think I have... Uh... Can British people take this test? Do I have a flat affect? You do not have. A flat I've been told I have a. You have an extremely non-flat affect. Musical voice, a pixie you, voice. You've really? got a you've got a bumpy affect. What do you? What is pic, What is a pixie sound mean? Yeah, I think I sound pretty. Yeah, like, like the Queen of England. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Now the reason I ask is like, can British people take this? Because like they all they sound funny. That's what I got. Uh, Thank you. Sometimes a thought or a subject gets stuck in my mind, and I have to talk about it, even if no one is interested. Um. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. 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 Why not? You know. Uh, you have run into the room and go. I don't care if you give a shit. We're gonna talk oh, about yeah, this yeah, now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But then you start to care. Yeah. You like well, I've, I've got. I, I'm really good at getting people to care about my stupid, you mean stupid stories and influencing? shit. Influencing. I do certain things with my hands over and over again, like flapping, twirling sticks or strings, waving things by my eyes. I mean, I don't think I do anything weird with my hands, do I? Do I like do any like, like snapping or or flapping or anything? I have not seen you okay. flap. No. Personally. I have never been interested in what most people I know consider interesting. Uh no. I am considered a compassionate type of person. What do you think? Yes. Okay. I, I, th I mean, absolutely. So here's the thing. I, I think so, but th something about myself is like, I'll be like, here's, I think this about myself. And something I do worry about is like, just because I think it, I, I wonder if it's true, you know? Like, like, cause this is so descriptive that, um, I don't know. I just, I worry that like my perception of myself is incorrect. Wait, why are you laughing? Why laughing? So I read something funny. Uh, Mumboko Jumbo in the chat says, Crikey, we got 20 regional accents in the UK. Do we all sound the same to you? Yes. <laughs> Maybe to Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Overanalyzing your perception of yourself is textbook autism. Yeah, but I feel like that's also my personality just to overanalyze a lot of things. I don't know. I get along with other people by following a set of specific rules that help me look normal. No. It is very difficult for me to work and function in groups. No. Uh, when I am talking to someone, it is hard to change the subject. If the other person does so, I can get very upset and confused. No. Sometimes I have to cover my ears to block out painful noises like vacuum cleaners or people talking too much or too loudly. I mean, sometimes when Pat, like talks too loud in my ear maybe but no 
Uh, I can chat and make small talk with people. Yes. Are you sure that's just not you being like, I'm sick of what this guy has to say? Maybe a little, little, little bit. Sometimes uh, things that should feel painful are not. For instance, when I hurt myself or burn my hand on the stove. I mean, like, I bump into things all the time, and then I'm like, where are these bruises from? And yeah, I don't realize. That's true. So I guess, I guess. I mentioned it earlier, but I, I overheard a, a, a mom talking about her little girl having banana legs. Banana which legs. definitely, Paige, you got those banana legs. Oh, because they bruises. Yeah, it's like, and it, the bruises just appear out of nowhere. Uh, when talking to someone, I have a hard time telling when it is my turn to talk or to listen. No, I'm considered a loner by those who know me best. Not at all. I usually speak in a normal tone. I think so. Oh, yeah. I like things to be exactly the same day after day, and even small changes in my routine upset me. No. How to make friends and socialize is a mystery to me. No. It calms me to spin around or to rock in a chair when I'm feeling stressed. Everybody likes to rock in a Everybody chair. Everybody likes to rock in a chair. Well, no, but no, really, like, it's just, I, I like, I like our little, uh, the rock, not the rocking chair. Hey, what is it? The, uh, it's the glider. The glider. RLB71 asks, what test is she taking? She's taking the choo-choo brain test. Choo-choo. Yes, that's right, Paige. Choo-choo. Oh, hey, just so you know, if you want to buy a rocking chair, do it. It's awesome. But be sure that you instead choose a glider if you have a cat. Or a small dog. Or or a small dog, because you can really hurt their little tails. Uh, so we had to get a glider because of Elmo. Yeah. Um, it calms me to spin around or rock in a chair when I'm feeling... Stra- I mean... It's, I mean... I- I, I, I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, I, I enjoy it, but not if I'm, like, so stressed. I'm like, where's my chair? Yeah. I guess, right? Um, Grandpa has his special chair, special chair that no one else can sit in. The phrase, he wears his heart on his sleeve, does not make sense to me, no. Or wait, no, it does make sense to me, yeah. If I'm in a place where there are many smells, textures to feel, noises or bright lights, I feel anxious or frightened. No. I can tell when someone says one thing, but means something else, yes. I like to be myself as much as I can. Yes. I keep my thoughts stacked in my memory like they are on filing cards, and I pick out the ones I need by looking through the stack and finding the right one or another unique way. So that actually that actually is true for me. Uh. That actually is true for me. I picture um, Rolodex. You know what I mean? So uh, People like, are if, saying you answered the opposite oh, of did? what you said on one oh, earlier. Oh, can you tell me which one? I am You so said sorry. I like to be by myself as much as I can, and you went, oh, hell no. yeah. No, no, you, I don't. No, 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 uh, no, 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 that one. This one? 69. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Reading comprehension. <laughs> I like to be myself as much as I can. Oh, by my... By my Oh, I am so sorry. I thought it said, I like to be myself as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be by myself as much as I can. No. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, the heart I on like the sleeve. Wait, myself. no, hold oh, on. The heart on the sleeve too. Oh shit. The phrase does not make sense to me. Okay. Never true. Oh, these are. <laughs> you always I'm... know what it means. I can't read. I guess. Uh, the same sound sometimes seems very loud or soft, even though I know. Th- thank you guys, by the way. Uh, the same sound sometimes feels very loud or soft, even though I know it has not changed. Uh. No. I enjoy spending time eating and talking with my family and friends. Yes. I can't tolerate things I dislike. Smells, textures, sounds, or colors. I mean, nobody... But if you dislike it, you're like, uh. Mm-hmm. So I guess I, I, I guess I can tolerate it. Yeah. I don't like to be hugged or held. Oh, my Definitely God. Definitely not I, true. I love hugs. I love hugs. When I go somewhere, I have to follow a familiar route, or I can get very confused and upset. No. Not at all. It is difficult to figure out what other people expect of me. No, you're good. When I was younger, maybe. I like to have close friends. Yes. People tell me that I give too much detail. No. I'm often told that I ask embarrassing questions. Yes. You definitely do, Paige. Yes. I tend to point out other people's mistakes. No. Here we go. Are you ready? Get, the, get your Thomas the Tank Are you, engines what, ready. Do you have, do you have a... Uh, a guess? Do you think I passed? Any predictions? I think it's going to say zero. Uh, you want a drum roll? Yeah, roll. Drum roll, please. Am I autistic? Probably not. 29. 
I don't know what that means. What does my score mean? I'm not autistic. So 25 is definitely not. 50 is. You got some, but probably not. But some autistic people score as low as 44. 65, the minimum score, which autism is like, yeah, maybe. 90 is like strong indications. Below non-autistics could score high. 130 is the average autism. 160 is big autism. 227 is the maximum score any autistic person has ever scored during the paper. Uh. And 240 is your maximum score. Oh, boy. Do note, a no single test is not conclusive. Below, you can see which statements belong to which. Huh. But that's a little annoying to go back and yeah. forth and go back huh. and forth. Cool. Recommended next test. You could take the Spectrum Quotient or the Cat Q. Cat Q, huh. Or the Aspie Quiz. The Aspie Quiz? Good lord. All right. Does anybody want to see me take this fucking test? Yes! Yes, we do! Yes, we do! Let's see. You take the test only if you want to. Oh. Only if you want to. There's no pressure. I'm not going to get like 500, you motherfucker. Okay, hey, hey. Pat, look at me. Look at me. Look at Could me. you no, imagine? Look, at, look, at, look, at, look at my eyes. Okay, look at me. You do not have to do this. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. You sure? Yeah, You don't, you don't have to. All right. Well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to tweet this out. I don't want to be a, a, a big fat gay buzzkill. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm going to ba go back so okay. that it restarts. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Uh, Pat's a different type of neurodivergent. He's going to score like shit on this. Who knows? Pat, take an autism assessment test. Or what, what is this one called? The what, what, what? The RADS R test. A, uh, sorry, R A A D S slash R. Dash R slash R. Uh, dash, dash. So come on. That's take the one. The yeah, yeah, yeah. RADS R autism assessment test. I'm not going to take, you know, I'll take a colorblind test. Beat your fucking ass. I'll take one too. Oh, wait, oh I almost put my stream. <laughs> there we go. Tee hee. Oh, man. A bunch of people are having to go get appointments with their psychotherapists uh oh because see we're helping we're helping this is helpful this is helping no one i'm i feel helped do you i'm helped you dodged it <laughs> i didn't catch it <laughs> come on pat take <laughs> that's so fucking funny the idea of, like, somebody firing autism into a crowd is so funny oh my god and that man is god Oh, the post won't send. Yeah, no, the this is useless. What the, the fuck? The, the phone app is broken. You're going to have to go on R, to Twitter. It's R-R-A-D-S. No, no, you're going to have to do it on the desktop. Oh, really? you know, I'm just going to do it on the desktop. But before we do that, <sighs> we're going to go over here. There we go. Because God forbid, like, Jenna's tweet comes up first or something. Oh. All right, oh, go ahead Jenna. and type. You're me. Love you. Okay. You scored 31. That's bad. You failed. You failed the tism. Uh, okay, so, um. I'm taking the reds are to. Oh my god, Kai 9, that's so mean. God, you can't even do anything right. Oh, that's so fucking mean. I'm taking the. Is it R A A D S dash R? Yes, yes, that's the Test for. Uh. Why did you write autism in all caps to start? I didn't mean to, that's why I went back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It says right now because Paige failed hers. Okay. Well. You don't have to do this, Pat. Yeah, well. Sent. What does it mean that I failed it? No, no, no chicken McNuggies for you. <laughs> Hold on. All right, back to the back to this. All right. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's let's let people find out what you're doing, mm -hmm. so they can. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Hold on. 
Blast Yo Boots says, seriously, it's more like the Aspie test. It linked to you want the What the fuck? It's more likely the Aspie test it linked to you want Pat. It gets coincident conditions where this one only gets autism. It's going to mix a bunch of your co-indicating OCD stuff. Otherwise, that's really going to help you out here if you want to take a test because this one will probably be false positive. I'm very familiar with the Radzar test. I'm, I'm familiar with most of these tests. Are you gonna are you gonna answer honestly? No, I'm gonna lie. Give me your hand. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth, the big truth, and always big truth? So help you big truth? No. Sure. Please. Sure. <laughs> Please? Okay, yay! Big truth! Big truth! Big truth. Ow. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, that well, it was you, yeah. Yeah, that no, that was you me. pushed it on my I'm sorry. foot. I apologize. All right. Okay, are you ready? What do you think about the quotient test? I don't know. We'll try it after this one. All right, wait before you do that. No, before I do that, no. I want to know what do you, what score do you guys think? Oh my god. Yeah, you can do a poll and you can just put ranges. Do a poll with ranges. Yeah. Like 0 to 30, 31 to 80, etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody do a statistical poll. The number goes from 0 to 240. I I will refrain from voting. I feel like despite the fact that it was like a mandatory course in all the, the higher education places I went, nobody but me has ever taken a statistics course. Oh. Like, weird. do you ever, like... Hmm. Prediction started. How, oh, what goodness. the fuck is that? I don't know. How does that work? Win wait, channel wait, points wait, if you I make the that? correct prediction. Here it is. Zero, Zero to 50. 50, 50, 50. 51 to 100. 100 101 to 150. 151 to 200. And 201 to 240. Oh, my God. Why uh -oh. are you guys... Whoa, this, the voting on this is good, flying all over the oh, place. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, all right. golly. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, it didn't. I, oh, we got to re, re, oh, yeah, re refresh restart, it. Restart. There you go. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. What was my score? My score was 29. Yeah. You dodged it, honey. I'm a sympathetic person. No. I often use words and phrases for movies and televisions and conversation. True, but only when I was younger than 16. I'm often surprised when people tell me I was rude. Yes. That happened today. Uh, sometimes I talk too loudly or softly. Yes. I don't know how to act in social situations. When I was younger than 16, yes. I could put myself in other people's shoes. Well, only if they let me. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. No. I have a hard time figuring out what phrases mean. No. I know what phrases mean. I only talk to people who share my special interests. No. I talk to people in chat every single day I go to work. Oh, real quick. Matt. <laughs> Real quick, uh, would you take this? Can you put the link into the um, into the chat so that you can take the test along with Patrick? If no, you they're wish. already doing that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I focus on details. Absolutely. I always notice how food tastes in my mouth. This is more important than how it tastes. No, taste is a vital factor of every food. A good crunch is nice. Fluffy bread is nice. But if it tastes like shit, you know, like. Eh. I miss my best friends or family when we were apart for a long time. True only now. Sometimes I offend others by saying what I'm thinking, even if I don't mean to. Every day of my life. That's why I got this going on. Hi, guys. What's the deal with League of Legends? All right. I, all, I only like to think and talk about a few things that interest me. I'll talk about anything, pretty much. I'd rather, rather go eat to eat in a restaurant than somebody I know. I would say true only now. I can not imagine what it would be like to somebody else. No. I've been told that I'm clumsy. No. Others consider me fucking weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm whoa. not clumsy. I'm like a fucking agile ninja around this house. You you remember the stroller and you like almost fell into that hole earlier today? Let's just say no. Fine. Let's 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 give you that one. It's fine. I'm very agile. I mean, I would not say that you're agile, but 
Yeah, for the you sake know what? of this. It, I, my shit might be fucked up because I live in a household with peach saliva. <laughs> Fine, whatever. All right, yeah, I guess whatever. Never true. Others though. consider me odd or different. Yeah. That's crazy. I understand when friends need to be comforted. Uh, now. I'm sensitive to the way the clothes feel when I touch them. Uh, only when I was younger than 16. I copy the way certain people act. Helps me appear more normal. Only when I was younger than 16. Be intimidating for me to talk to more than one person at the same time. Only when I was younger than 16. I have to act normal to make others like me. Now. That says now and when I was young. That so is what now? I'm saying. What What do you mean? You, you please so many of us and you're very much yourself. And I'm very normal. So normal. Meeting people is easy. It is now. I hit a point in my life where all of a sudden I didn't give a shit about anything at all. No, that's... And that point was turning 36. Yeah. <laughs> really? It took you that long? Yeah. Oh, well. All right. I get highly confused when somebody interrupts me. No. It's difficult for me to understand how people are feeling when we are talking. I'd say when I was younger than 16. I like having conversations with several people around a dinner table, school, at work. Truly now. I take things too literally and I miss what people are trying to say. Yes. It is difficult for me to understand when somebody is embarrassed or jealous. No. Some ordinary textures that don't bother other people are offensive. Nope. I get fucking pissed when the things I like to do is suddenly changed. I am very mad that L.A. Noir broke today. I'm very upset about that, even now. I'm going to go to bed upset about L.A. Noir breaking. I might be mad about it tomorrow. Uh, I've never been <laughs> or needed one, an intimate... No, not true. Difficult for me to stop and start. I need to keep going until I am done. Yes. I speak with a normal rhythm. I don't know how to answer that. I feel like I speak relatively normal. Rhythm, normal. Maybe yeah. a little quick. No, your rhythm's normal. Yeah, I would, I yeah. would say that's... Yeah. Only now. Same sound, color, texture can change from sensitive to dull. No. The phrase, I've got you under my skin, makes me uncomfortable. Nah. Sometimes the sound of a word or high-pitched noise can be painful. Nah. In fact, I remember like... Like some uh, my music teacher actually doing nails on the chalkboard to make the noise to be like, see how that can sound. And I just sat there and like, I couldn't understand why everyone was grabbing their ears mm. and freaking out. Like it's not that bad. It's mm. it's it's unpleasant, but it's not like ah, yeah. the way people act. Yeah. Um, I'm understanding. No, I'm never understanding. Uh, I do not connect. <laughs> I do not connect. Sorry, I do not connect with movie characters and cannot feel what they feel. No. We just had this conversation. Uh, I can't tell when somebody is flirting with me. So. So, uh, I'm afraid that. This is hard to answer. Yeah. Because the most, the thing that I would usually say is that uh, I don't think I've been flirted with very much at all. But so apparently that's not true. It's not true. And also, like, I have flirted with you and you don't know that I'm, like, trying to fuck. Like, and I'm, like, your wife. So, I, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I love you, honey. Love you so much. I don't know what's going on. There's just no way to know. Yeah, you're right, Luck Punch. No There's just know. no way to tell. Who can who can know? I can see in my mind in exact detail uh, things that I'm interested in. Absolutely, always. I keep lists of things. No, I've never kept a list of anything. When I feel overwhelmed by my bullshit, I have to isolate myself to shut down. Yes. I like to talk things over. Yes. I cannot tell if somebody is interested or bored when I'm saying, oh, no, I am very aware if somebody is. That's that's not true. I'm sorry <laughs> that you had to find out this way. But it is just not true. I'm sorry. Is this why you wanted me to take this test so you could hit me with these sick burns? Sorry, Patrick. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. True now. Yeah. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It can be hard to read somebody's face, hand, and body movements. Not really. 
Wait. Yeah. Wait, really? What does this mean? Oh, no! No! <laughs> did you really mean to do that? Yeah, I did. Uh, I, me I meant to do it. Did you, did you really? I meant to do it. Did you, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, I totally meant to do that. That was funny. <laughs> it's a funny joke. Okay, fine. Thank you, Drake Devar. Thank you so much Thank for the gift. Thank you. Subs. Fine. Appreciate that. Thank the you. The same thing can feel different to me at different times. Yeah, sure. Feel comfortable with dating or being in social situations. True only now. I try to be as helpful when other people tell me their personal problems. So that so I try to be as helpful, but I'm not helpful. I'm very bad at helping people with anything. There have been times. There have been times where I have to be like, I'm walking in and I've got like a thousand groceries or something like that. And I'm like, and I walk in and you just stare at me and I'm like, yeah, d don't help. <laughs> and then you're just like looking at me. But that's when they tell you their personal oh, problems. Oh, wait, hold on. That's a good point. Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Like my, my main problem is that somebody will tell me like this complex personal problem and I'll be like, well, just don't feel that way. And then they go, thanks, man. That's really helpful. And I go, cool. Yeah. And, and they're not saying it's actually helpful. They're, they're being like, what? thanks, man. That's really there, helpful. There's no, there's no way they mean they're, they're, they're happy with, no, I don't. I mean, is is it trying or or being helpful? No, it's trying. Okay, okay, try. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. I don't think I have an unusual voice. Um, and I don't I, think I, don't I think ever so. had an I don't think so. unusual voice. I don't, I don't think so. Sometimes a thought or subject gets stuck in my mind, and I have to talk about it, even if no one wants to talk to me. Yes, I do certain things with my hands over and over, like flapping, twirling sticks or strings, waving things by my eyes. Nope. <laughs> not even a little bit put this in your hand okay put your <laughs> hands up no thank what you what about for... the flipping of the knife what about it it's like cool flipping... it's cool it's so cool it's so <laughs> cool patrick wait no it's so cool. No, you can't do that. Tell me more you about your collection. Your collection That's so... of box cutters. Tell me more. You don't let me have most of them. But tell me about I them. had like, so used... many box I... cutters. Yeah, and it got dangerous. No. You didn't no, you didn't store them properly. They were I would just find them and sometimes I found them open. The, so it's, yeah, it's, you had to get rid of them. I'm the, sorry. It's the price you pay. Patrick, you have a stem toy. Come on. The camera? Yeah, don't you remember you had those uh fidget spinners? Remember that? Oh, that's just because they're hilarious. They're so funny. Where's that key again? <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? No! I <laughs> See, because I was being so good. Uh, yeah, you got you got me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so stimming doesn't necessarily like like it's like especially like even like young children and like some stimming like right now you're bouncing your leg. No, I'm not. Like some some of that is normal, but you do a lot of that all the time. You also make that swishing noise in your mouth that you think no one can hear. Okay, so when I was younger. Oh my God. I, no one told me people can hear noises inside your mouth if your mouth is closed. Because when you eat and you close your mouth, you can't hear the food anymore. Right? So I thought every noise that was inside your mouth with your lips closed, you couldn't hear it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, when I was, like, 34... Paige was like, fucking stop that. I'm like, what? But my mouth is closed. You can't hear that. Yeah, this was like bef right before I think we moved here. Yeah. 
Yeah, mouth canceling lips. Oh my god. Yeah, cause uh, cause your mouth is closed, yeah. so the sound can't get out. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. You know, I also hear when you burp in your mouth, and when the, you look and it crawls up your throat, but you don't open your mouth. I hear it all the time. But you tell me not to burp like loud, like whatever, so I don't. Yeah, but like. But then, like, you'll be like, here, give me a kiss. And then I'll, like, hear it, like, start to creep up. And that's when I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, and then you think I just don't want to kiss you. It's because I can feel that you're about to, like, burp in my mouth. Uh, you do that thing. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to be rude. I'm sorry. There was no need <laughs> to go into so much detail on that. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that was there was no need for that. But you do it all the time. I have to like protect myself. <laughs> I love you so much. I really, really do. I love you too, honey. I really do. This is now the airing of grievances. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, Festivus. It's, no, it's Dignity Chicken. Yeah, it's, it's Festivus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, no, I love you. I, I love, love you too. and your sweet key. Thank you. Shut your up. Your sweet little key that you spin around. You also play with the key. Yeah, but I don't play with it like... <sighs> and then if I'm playing with it, you know, then sometimes you'll be like, give me my key. I, it's mine. Oh. Is it your special key? Oh. And it, then, it is. This is yes, rare. But, no, it isn't, Pat. I've even offered to get you an exact one. You said no. No, I same. want this one. This is the one somebody gave to me at MAGFest. I mean, yeah, but like what if you... Of course, but what if you lost that one? Then I'll never get this one back. But you'll still have your special... Uh, a special key. But it won't be this one. You know what? This stream's gonna be really great because we got the fucking chat up there, so everyone can see the thing. Wait, how do I sound crazy? Yeah, I don't. I don't know how she. How do I sound crazy? Okay. All right. Go, uh, please continue. And, anyway, uh, I okay. Paige says that that me playing with my key and bouncing my leg counts. So fine. I've never been interested in what most of the people I know consider interesting. Most of the people I know is pulling a lot of weight here. Yeah. Because, like, the I've surrounded myself with people who like the more or less the same things that I do. Uh, yeah. Well, well, what about when you were younger, though? When I was younger? Not um, necessarily. Right? When I was, I'd say it was, like, a normal amount. Like, really? Uh, there'd be, be varying degrees of interest of like what everybody else was talking about, yeah, and there'd like, be stuff that people gave a fuck about. That I was like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. But yeah, this the question's kind of tricky, I guess. Yeah, um, I, I would not say that that's true okay. ever. I'm compassionate. No, no, nobody thinks I'm compassionate. I want to be, but I'm not. I th I think that you put forth great effort to be a compassionate person. I really do. I oh, think that's, you, that's I, sweet. Thank you. I think you. it. Well, I like. I know that I've seen people be like, oh, "That means you're a sociopath," and that's not necessarily the case. You just don't. You don't have. You you have a lot of maybe sympathy. Wait, why the fuck are you people in the chat going? You try. I could see it. Like, what the fuck? You don't know me. Ha hold <laughs> on. First of all, they know you enough. <laughs> They know you enough, Patrick. <laughs> God. They know you enough. Uh, they definitely know us enough to like, you know, at least this. Um, but I don't. I what's the word? I think you are you 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 show a lot of sympathy for people. Yeah. And I and I think that's, I think that's you know the sign of you know. A good person mm -hmm. that you you know you're like that person is sad i will show kindness yeah. to that person. the the actual um the actual uh follow through on that mm -hmm. is um often really bad <laughs> what, what do you mean hey man i'm sorry your girlfriend dumped you do you do you want ice cream oh my god pat do you remember <laughs> when that person had something really terrible happen to them and you, oh, and, man. And you, and you and I won't say what oh, it was, you know, no. but you wanted so badly 
to show like, hey, you know, this it's a really, really tragic thing. It was bad. It was like a, it was, a it was life like, it was, defining yeah, tragedy. Yeah. And 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 we were at dinner and you just went, <sighs> Oh, that sucks. And I remember just being like I meant it when I said that. It did suck. Like like it just and 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 here's the problem, right? I understood that that's you going, hey, that that that's hard, right? And in the moment you you were trying to show, yeah, you know, yeah. And I thought it was so sweet, but I remember you explained to me afterwards I, how cringe it was, and I was like, oh my god, I you're did, right. I know. Oh. I had to take him aside and go, babe, because here's the thing, right? Um, because because that is hard when you hear like really. Uh, big tragic news from someone else. Like I heard big tragic news from someone else today, and I I was like, you handled that well. I I think I handled it well, but it, but it was very sudden and very fast, and 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 that is hard, and it can be. I've like, gotten a lot better at that as I've gotten older. I think. I think so. I think so. When I was tw- in my twenties, I was like borderline incompetent about how to deal with everybody's emotions. I mean. And now I'm just mostly incompetent. Yeah, responding to someone else's hardships can be tricky, um, but it's just like your your response of just no 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 sorry not you your response but one's response of like <laughs> bummer <laughs> to something like damn, truly life altering. Damn, like, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, girl. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's like <laughs> all right. Anyway, never. Yeah, do. yeah, but yeah. Uh, I get along with people by following a specific set of rules to help me look normal. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, it's very... Wait, di- what, what is that? I get along with other people by following a specific set of rules that help me look normal. Uh, will, you, will you elaborate on that? No. What, what are the rules? Just don't say shit that's too weird. You Wait, know, the what? rules of society... Oh, well, that's... Yeah, everybody does this. So, like, don't murder or, like, don't... Like, don't, 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 like, bust out your weird-ass cringe inside thoughts within 10 seconds. Like, don't let the neighbors know about about floor floor pie? pie, Yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, okay, all right. I believe that that applies to everyone. And everyone who says, who doesn't say, that's not what that question means. That's not what the question means? But that's... I, you know what? Yeah, I, I think, I think society has a specific set of rules. I, I think what they mean, like, do you, do you have like a specific set of rules that only you know or follow? Do you think? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's that's. Oh, what. thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Like what? Like. Oh, I can't think of any on the top right oh, now. Okay. But it only it only shows up when I try to explain my thought process and you go, why the fuck did you think that? And I go, well, 10, 11 years ago, I was talking to Fuggins and he right. said this and then he told me not to say that. And I went, oh, okay. I remember that he told me not to say that when he said this. Oh, like your mom telling you like something and you going, well, that must be the way it is because why would... Yo, brown, brown cows. Yeah, brown, brown, brown cows, cows and chocolate milk. Make yeah. chocolate milk because yeah. why would they lie? They, yeah. they clearly make chocolate milk. Or Santa Claus is real. Santa Claus is real. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not. It's exactly the same. It's not the same. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess, I guess it, that's true. No, wait. I always thought fishes had bones. <laughs> I, I just didn't think, they, I didn't think they had guts. <laughs> yeah, Pat didn't think fish had guts or a brain. They were just like bones wait, and fi- meat. Wait, no, no. Oh, my God. Bones I, and meat. Oh, no, stop. Bones stop, and meat just stop, swimming stop. in the river. Stop. No, no, Paige. It's worse. It's worse. No. Because, because no. this whole time I was like, I thought fishes were just bones and meat, and then I was like, "Oh right, they have guts." But I didn't even think of it until you just said it. I guess they have brains too. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> for some reason, I thought fish were just kind of like automatic. We gotta get the kid looked at. <laughs> we gotta get the kid looked at. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! I thought they were just kind of like bugs, you know. They're just like whoa, whoa, whoa. What? bugs have like nervous systems, and some even have like little brain things going on. <laughs> oh my god, bugs have brains. No, they don't. Goo, go- well, uh, uh go- no. Oh fuck! I'm, I'm... Oh my god! 
Bugs can't have brains. They're too small. <laughs> Do bugs have brains? Wow. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, there's the brain of a bug. There's the brain of an ant. There's the brain of a caterpillar. Huh. Bee. Wow, that's crazy. Pat, which room's in the re or <laughs> Hold on, what was the uh, You're not going to get me with that hey, Pat, one. Pat, which rooms in the original RE2 have MRX in them? <laughs> Mr. X. Mr. No, X. You're not going to. You're not going to. No. You, Let's hear it. Which which ones? Which ones? I don't remember. Why don't you uh, play with your key a little bit? Maybe it'll uh, ring a bell. I don't remember. Patrick, you swore on big truth not to lie. <laughs> you could play that game in your fucking sleep. Now you tell me what rooms Mr. X is in. He's in the crow hallway. Then he's in the... Uh, in Claire's campaign, he's in the hall... No? Yeah, in Claire's campaign, he's in the hallway going from the library to the crank room then he's in the uh, press room then he's in the hallway outside of the press room then he is in the uh tram elevator subsection then he's in the hallway mm -hmm. from uh the elevator to the maintenance hallway in the lab but only for leon uh, and then he is in the final boss area. Uh, can someone, uh, fact check that, uh, Susie or, uh, anyone, uh, did you enjoy your speed run, babe? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Now do nemesis. I actually can't. Yeah. Cause you're, you're specifically... Uh, two, aren't you? Well, I played three a bunch, but... Yeah, oh, but... I did forget the Tiger Hallway. Yeah, I did. Oh. My bad. Because that's, uh... What do you mean, King D, D Gwyn? Am I serious about what? Oh, my bad. All right. It's difficult for me to function in groups. It is bordering on impossible for me to function in groups. I hate groups. Group projects are terrible. I would rather be by myself and do the whole the whole school project by myself. Wait, what was that? It is difficult for me to work in groups. Why? You you work fine in groups. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. When do I work in groups? You used to. I used to work in pairs. Uh, well, that's not, yeah, but even when the four of you worked together, it was like beautiful. Yeah, but that's just talking. That is that's not a project. No, but that's work. Or, or, well, what, what do you, so something you should know, Pat sometimes doesn't consider like this work. Like, do you, or do you mean like, oh, every Sunday? Yeah, but you guys, I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm bad at rating. Yeah, so, so arguably a pair is a group. I think you work well in groups. And like when, um, when, uh, me, Wooly, Reggie, and you did the stream yeah. together, it was good. Well, thank you. You, d you work well as a see, team. See, I'm thinking about when I, when I see that, I see, I think of schoolwork. No, no, this is just to, f okay, forget work, function. Look at function. Is it difficult for you to function in groups or pairs? Like right now. No, okay, I wouldn't say so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to change your answer like, ugh, change it. I just really want you to make, to make sure that you are like really thinking about the right question. What about the Apex Legends problem? The Apex Legends problem is because you, you load into a team of three and one of them just runs away and you're fucked. Like that that has nothing to do with functioning in a in a team. That's just yeah. Uh, when I'm talking to somebody, it's hard to change the subject. If the other person does so, I can get upset. No, definitely. Let's go to the new topic. Would you agree with that? Well, hold on. When I'm talking to someone, it's hard to change the subject. Oh no no you, no let, no you yeah you're, yeah let's you're, go to yeah. the new topic if the new topic's like interesting think, at all I think you're a really good conversationalist I would fucking hope so yeah <laughs> I, think, I think you are I think you are. <laughs> really oh 
Oh, man. Pat, you suck at talking. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh. Sometimes need to cover my ears to block out painful noises. I don't think I've ever put my hands over my ears to block out anything once in my entire life. Other than... No, 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 I can't yeah, hear you, I can't hear you, you know, just to be a yeah, complete yeah, shithead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I can, I can chat and make small talk with people, only now. So you can chat and make small talk with people. You don't like to, though. Oh, I hate it. But I mean. I do it all the time I love around small here. Talk. I love small talk. Because I don't want to seem like a, like a fucking weirdo that's like a loner that, that doesn't want to be a part of my community mm. and I don't want you and the boy to suffer because you're part of the family that weirdo loner asshole that that oh. nobody likes well so I'll be like oh the weather's fucking crazy That's, oh are, are you describing wow. masking no I'm describing acting normal so that people don't think you're married to a jerk oh like when I went and hung out with those old people. I didn't give a shit about the old people, but I didn't want you to be sad that the old people didn't get to see the baby. Yeah, it's not It's not about... Oh, jeez. He's talking about... Uh, so we take Gowron... Oh, our, I talked to about uh, bringing the baby. I know, but some people may, may not. Yeah. Uh, uh, we take uh, Gowron to the nursing home uh, to like sing and... And dance, dance and be and, goddamn and adorable. And be adorable for the old people at uh, a nursing home. Yeah, and Paige couldn't make it because she was busy with something else. So yeah. She asked me to go. Yeah. And so I went, and we I sang the songs, and I was polite, and I made small talk with a couple old people. But yeah. like, I don't give a shit about that. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know, I did it because, like, you, it was important to you. Well, they, by the way, they loved that you were there uh, because they love when uh, dads do stuff like that mm -hmm. because usually it's just the moms. So. Yeah. I know. It was very, it was very sweet that you did. Did that. they smell? No. No, actually, it's it's a really nice nursing. It's a home. very nice nursing home. I and told they, you. Everybody it didn't looked smell. very well taken Everyone care of. Everyone was very well taken care Nobody of. Nobody looked and... like they were trying to escape. Yeah, they all looked. They all seem really happy. Yeah. So. Don't get uh, don't get flown around by a tornado, quick quick. Yeah. Sometimes things that sing that that some fucking shit this one's tough sometimes things that should feel painful are not for instance when i hurt myself or burn my hand on the stove all the time i am constantly discovering cuts scrapes and scratches that i don't know are there yeah oh no it's it's a it's a straight up nursing home this is not assisted living these yeah. these are like nursing home people they are quite uh, elderly. Like, remember when I picked up Zangief to put him in the bath, and he didn't want to go in the bath, and then I gave him the bath, and I came downstairs, and I had my shirt off, and you were like, Pat, you have a scratch that's going from, yeah, like, it was like, the bleeding. entirety of your chest. I'm like, oh, yeah. crazy. Huh, weird. That's okay. Uh, um, can we skip this one? When talking to someone, <laughs> I have a hard time telling when it is my turn to talk or to listen. Uh, I don't have trouble with that. I mean, like I, I sometimes interrupt. You, you are a such an interrupter. So uh... it's hard to tell when somebody's breathing or stopping. It's hard to tell. I'm considered a loner. Oh yeah, absolutely. Usually speak in a normal tone. I would say that's yeah, accurate. Yeah, a, a normal tone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like things to be exactly the same every single day, and if things change, I get very upset. <laughs> I mean, you should you should do whatever you think is best, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. how to make friends and socialize is a mystery only when i was young it calms me to spin around or rock in a chair when i'm feeling stress no Do you feel the desire to and you squash it? Uh, 
I mainly just want to, like, we have the gliding chair. I mainly just want to lie back in it, to be honest. Like when you're stressed? Like think think about like when you're stressed. Yeah, I want to do I want to do like uh, like that shit, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I would actually say never true. Yeah. Hard on a sleeve does not make sense to be not true. I know exactly what that makes sense. Uh, what that means. It obviously means that they have a tattoo of a heart on their shoulder. Oh. Okay. Why don't you explain it? They have a tattoo of a heart on shoulder. No, explain what it means to wear one's heart on. I just, I just said that. No, it means that your intentions and emotions are incredibly obvious to everyone around you, to show that your emotional core is literally on display as part of your body. That's what it means. He's spinning in his chair right now. I'm not spinning. I mean, we're we're all spinning like, would be like. Whee! Yeah, I uh, I which think, is fun. I think to wear wearing your heart on your sleeve means to be like vulnerable, guys. Yeah. Wait. Oh, specifically to be vulnerable. Yeah. So when you wear your heart on your sleeve, your heart is exposed. So that means you're you're sensitive. Let's figure and this unable. out. Yeah, I think it means vulnerable. Making one's feelings apparent. Really? Yeah. Is there another interpretation, or is that the only one? They behave in a way that makes their feelings very obvious. Okay, so, yeah, it's, okay, so, that's it's, so it's the over... Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I've never heard the meaning that you've said in oh, my life. Eh. All right. I guess I'm wrong. I uh, I always knew. But if I'm know. in a place where there's lots of smells, textures, noises, bright lights, I feel frightened or anxious. Nah, not really. I can tell when someone says one thing but means something else. That is called sarcasm. <laughs> Brown cow? No, she meant it. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I was serious about the brown cow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, babe. I would put true only now, maybe. Wait, I, is guess? The, I don't think this is talking about lying. I think this is talking about sarcasm. Because they don't mean something else if they're lying. They're just lying. Yeah, but like, oh, hey, Patrick, did you know that. Uh, Brown cows make chocolate milk. See, that's sarcasm. I mean, yeah. Like when someone says they're fine and they're not fine. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you, do you usually feel like you know when that is the case? Well, what I usually feel is uh, what, my, what my reading of that doesn't matter. Right. Because if somebody says they're fine and they are fine, okay. chasing after them sucks. And if you if they're not fine, but they're telling you they're fine, that means they don't want you to chase after their emotions. They want you to leave them alone. Okay. So it's kind of like a losing coin flip. I'm I'm trying to not influence you. I just yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh. You said you take things too literally and get confused. Yeah. These are not mutually exclusive. Sarcasm and literalism are not opposites. No, I'm no Spider Man. When I when I touch Pat's ha Pat's arm, that isn't me going. You you use the wrong one. It's me going. Are you sure? Because <laughs> like I. Yeah. Every time. She, so watch. Do you? I now I feel bad. Do you not want me to like tell you? Because like sometimes I I don't know if you. Tell me what. Well, like. When when you're like oh yeah this and I'm like oh does no he definitely not know? definitely Is that okay? oh yeah so if okay? you guys like, watch uh, uh, every single time Paige touches my arm she's secretly telling me that I'm mentally disabled so here we go here we go here we go disabled you gotta I'm say sorry. it Irish no I I apologize <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to sway you I just or like puppet you or anything I just uh, oh disabled no. oh no oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, leg disabled. Ah. Uh. I al I also just like holding his hands. So. Yeah. Anyway. 
Uh, I like to be by myself as much as I can. True only when I was younger than 16. You you love to be by yourself. Yeah, but as much as I can? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But see, this isn't fair also because when I was not by myself as under 16, bad things would just happen all the time. Mm. The, when I was by myself, bad things wouldn't happen. Mm. I would just play Sega Genesis or PlayStation. Uh, let's see. I keep my thoughts stacked in memory like they're in filing cards, or I pick out the ones uh, by looking at the stack. Yeah, I have no mental um, organization structure for my brain at okay. all. Hmm. Like, nothing. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. The same sound seems loud or very soft, even though I know it hasn't changed. No, never. I enjoy spending time eating and talking with family and friends. Yes. I liked it also. I loved it. Like, I was just telling a page how I loved going to hang out with my mom at the Wendy's on Fridays Aww. when I was like like 12. Yeah. We'd go get groceries and we'd go to the Wendy's and we'd talk about our weeks and just like, blah, 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 you know, chat about bullshit. It was nice. I liked it. Uh, I can't tolerate things I dislike. I I would say I have an astonishing level of practice for tolerating things I don't like. You know, I've got some coconut water that you can uh you can have some if you want. Okay, go get it. Yeah. 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 Do you not remember what happened last time? Oh, I time? do. I didn't expect it to taste like that. I didn't think it was going to taste like poison. It doesn't taste like poison. Uh, it tastes delicious. But you've also eaten poison. <laughs> How do I tolerate things I don't like? I just don't don't go crazy. That's it. Yeah, yeah. When when it says I can't tolerate, do you like start like what is it like what what is the not tolerating? You know what I mean? Like, like, not tolerating would be like, I can't do this. That's what it is in my mind, uh, right? Okay. Like, I don't like waiting at the fucking doctor's office. I don't like that. But you'll tolerate it. Okay, but I'll okay. tolerate okay. it. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. can't tolerate means uh, throws a baby tantrum. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, see, in space... Wait, you didn't answer it. Oh, yeah. 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 See, in space, it's not a diagnostic test. It's a test as to whether or not you should discuss it with your doctor. Because no diagnostic test is perfect for anything with mental health. Yeah. Yeah, this is um, not a diagnostic test. Unless there was a test that was like, do you suffer manic episodes, and then you hit yes, then, yeah. <laughs> then it would be, yeah. Uh, I don't like to be hugged or held. I would not say that. Yes, I would not say that. When I go somewhere, I have to follow a very familiar route or I can get confused and upset. No. I don't... I get lost very often. I don't no, think. you have a pretty no. good sense of direction. It's difficult to figure out what people expect of me. Uh, I would say so. I like to have close friends. Yes. People give me that I give too much detail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ask embarrassing questions only when I was younger than 16. Wait, wait. I can see it. I can see it. I can feel a lot of emotions happening. You're having emotions. You're having at least one emotion. Are you the black parent or the normal parent? End quote. Patrick Boivé. Castle Super Beast. It was slightly different, actually. Oh, was it? What was it? It was that. Uh, or what was, was like, what was the? It was like, are you gonna raise your kid like a black parent or normal? I think was the actual. No, I think question. I got it right. I think I got it. <laughs> no, I don't think that's correct. Was I? Was I right? Yeah, I was right. Or was I? No, it was Pat right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Either either way, that was that was a stupid silly way to it was not like, the best way to phrase that yeah you you didn't use the word uh raise 
Uh, didn't you say once that when you were five, you pointed at a person in the supermarket and asked, why is that lady so ugly? You're five. Yeah, you five. five-year-olds do that. Oh, my God. Kids say the meanest shit. In fact, in fact, so I have a, um, a red dot right here. It's called a cherry angioma. Mm -hmm. I think that I think it's what it's called. Um, and um, it's like a burst blood vessel or whatever. And um, the, that um, I had a play date, uh, me and Gowron... Uh, went on a play date with um, my new friend and her um, oh, right. her kid, and he kept going up to me and touching touching it and going red, what red red, and I was like, yes, that's a cherry angioma. Angioma's tough. And I, and I, I, <laughs> yeah, and, well, I you know I could tell she was embarrassed, but I was like, that's fine. Red, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's red. And so when he sees me, he, he always kind of does this, and I'm like, yeah, because it doesn't it doesn't bother mm -hmm. me. He's a little boy. You know, mm -hmm. um, he's cool. I like him. He's really sweet. Yeah. With, with that hair. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm jealous. So cute. <sighs> All right. And I tend to point out people's mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wait, hold up. Do you, where, where's the, do we have the, um. No, it's, it's gone now. Oh, it left? Oh, yeah. no. I don't know how you see the prediction anymore. How do you see the predictions? I don't know how you see it. All right, it. guys, please post. I think it'll just. What it'll... number you think it'll be. Click, Click on channel points. What's the channel? Uh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, here we go. Wow, 4 million points in 4. the pool. 4.5 million okay, points, all right. Okay, 0 to 50 is at 30%. 51 to 100 is 48 percent 101 to 150 is 12 percent 151 to 200 is 3 percent and redlining the quiz is at 7 percent all right wow this is like a sloppy bell curve that's awesome all right let's see this sloppy bell curve all right wait uh, wait drum roll please oh that's pretty 108. high 108 that's pretty high. What do the scores mean? Let's see. 108 would be strong indications. Strong indications of autism. Though, you, though normal people could score high, too. And that's the mean score, which means if I did have it, I only got a little bit of it. Just a little. More testing required. Yeah. There are more tests. Yeah. Uh, down. Wait, is it here or is it? I actually really enjoy doing these personality tests. I think they're really like. Well, this is not a personality test, but like I enjoy doing these kinds of like right. introspective tests rather. Congratulations to all of the winners. Oh, do you want to take the cat cue? What measures the... measures camouflaging. But if I, but if you don't have, well, I guess. But I mean, yeah, why not? Who the test is designed yeah, who for? Who is this designed for? Adults of average or higher to intelligence. Oh, I'm no out. dumbos. I'm out. No, you're good. I can't man. take it. It measures the degree to which you use camouflaging. The more you camouflage, the more of your autistic proclivities you're likely to be able to suppress. A high camouflaging score can account for lower scores. So this is the follow-up test if you think you're just really high masking, basically. Okay, so this is for you. I mean, I mean, you know, for, uh, why are you breathing like that? Are you okay? I don't know, Patrick. I'm showing you compassion. <laughs> uh, oh. I'll take it too. We'll take it all together. Right, we'll yeah, take it all together. Right. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll take right, it together. Right. We'll take it. Everybody has to take it with us. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking gun. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I am showing you compassion. All right. So, uh, compensation. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, here's the three criteria. Compensation. Um, uh, strategies used to. Uh, actively compensate for difficulties. Copying body language, mm -hmm. learning social cues from movies, 
Masking. Strategies used to hide autistic characteristics or portray non-autistic persona. Adjusting face and body to appear confident or relaxed or forcing eye contact. And assimilation. Strategies used to try and fit in with others. Putting on an act or avoiding or forcing interaction with others. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Also, somebody said, Marvel says, I took that masking test, but it also overlaps with people with anxiety, which I know I have. I got a big number on that test. Well, any... Um, ADHD or autism, bipolar, any diagnosis overlaps with anxiety. Because anxiety is a natural response to having a mental illness. Unless you got that cool mental illness. Which one's that? Command delusion schizophrenia. Oh. They don't tend to suffer from anxiety. They just, they well, just do crazy shit. Well, do they, th is that, is that the one where you think you're Jesus? That is that is absolutely the one where you think you're oh, Jesus. Man, it's extraordinarily rare, uh, but it's real bad. That's uh, jo Joan of Arc yeah. disease. Yeah, cool. basically. Okay. Uh, taking the test strongly. Di oh, it's one of these. Strongly disagree. Disagree. Somewhat. Neither. Okay. Somewhat. Agree. Okay. Strongly agree. Is it a multiple choice, or do we have to, like, write down... Wait, what? Otacon, you were misdiagnosed with Down syndrome? It's a genetic test! How does that even happen? Like, did they think you had mosaic Down syndrome? But that you still test that. You do that with a blood test. He said he doesn't know. Huh. The... Huh. Did they, like, did they just, like, eyeball it? I mean, I know in the womb they look for certain factors, but you were diagnosed at four? <laughs> that's not, that's, Ill that's not that's illegal. Ill Snow Mike, <laughs> you're silly. Yeah, you can, you can just do it with a blood test. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Listen, it takes all kinds. That's a story. Oh, that's a hell of a story all right, right now. All right, all right, all let's, right. Let's take it. Scoring. Score range goes from 25 to 175. Hmm. Hmm. We added auto scoring, but you... All right. Da -da 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 -da. High internal consistency and in conversation. Test, retest reliability is good. Okay. Wow, that is a face. Yeesh. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, wow. What, wait, what is all this? Oh, okay. This is doctors being yeah. like, yeah, I'm smart. Cat Q, please read each statement below and choose the answer that best fits your experiences during social interactions. Should I, should I start or should you? Yeah, you should start. All right. That's the order that we did it. In. All right. When I'm interacting with someone, I deliberately copy their body language. Oh, or by the way, it's 740. So we yeah. have to finish by 830. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I'm interacting with someone, I deliberately copy their body language. I mean, not deliberately, you know, but you know how you find yourself like, oh, but like that's but natural that's just mirroring. matching the energy. Yeah. Um, I would say disagree. I monitor my body language or facial expressions so that I appear relaxed. I do have resting bitch face that I try to like be mindful of, but. Wooly's also got resting bitch face. Uh, somewhat disagree. I rarely feel the need to put on an act in order to get through a social situation. Uh, yeah, I rarely, yeah. I have developed a script to follow in social situations. No. I will repeat, repeat phrases that I've heard others say in the exact same way I first heard them. I mean, if it's like a fun, in-joke kind of thing. Does that accommodate for, like, teenage boys, like, remember, like, memeing it up? Like, remember, uh... Like, uh... Like, does Rick... I'm Rick James, bitch. Does that count? Because <laughs> if that's the case, oh my god, my high school was rife with it. Like, uh... I'll say... Like, I don't say it... Like, I'll say it like... Like, um... Yes, yes, and now you have done it. Yeah, but you do that on but, purpose. Well, yeah, yeah. I do that on purpose uh, because that that was like, that's an in-joke, mm -hmm. right? You 
did it. Yeah. You know, that that's also yeah. from that. So, I don't but, I, but it's not echolalia, you know no. what I mean? Echolalia so I is that annoying screen. shit that people do to be annoying. Mm. I adjust my body language or facial expressions so that I appear interested by the person I'm interacting with. Like, if I'm so bored and trying to escape... <laughs> no, I, that implies that you have resting bitch face, so that... Or, or like disinterested face. Oh no, I, I have, I just have, I just have like kind of a bitch face, not a disinterested mm-hmm. face. So disagree. In social situations, I feel like I'm performing rather than being myself. Like, I mean, I have in the past. I guess disagree. Mm-hmm. In my own social interactions, I use behaviors that I've learned from watching other people interacting. Isn't that every human being that's ever existed? I mean, isn't, isn't that understanding like cultural, like wave hello? That's norms? what people say. Uh, uh, I oh, it depends on how deliberate it is. Uh, then I the, okay, del- right? So we're talking about things that are deliberate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I always think about the impression I make on other people. Uh, I, I, yes. Yeah, I do. You yeah. absolutely do. I need the support of other people in order to socialize. Uh, no. Eh, I'll neither disagree. Uh, I practice my facial expressions and body language to make sure they look natural. No, that's There's weird. game grumps in it in the mirror. I don't, <laughs> I don't feel the need to make eye contact. Stop it. Stop. Oh, man. I don't feel the need to make eye contact with other people if I don't want to. <laughs> uh, no, I, I enjoy I like. I like to give eye contact. I have to force myself to interact with people when I'm in social situations. No. I have tried to improve my understanding of social skills by watching other people. Uh, I mean, not like past the age of like 10, I guess. I monitor my body language or facial expressions so that I appear interested by the person I'm interacting with. Uh, Didn't we just answer that? Yeah, I... Uh, when in social situations, I try to find ways to avoid interacting with others. No. I've researched the rules of social interactions to improve my own social skills. I mean, I remember, like, as a teenager, I was like, how to look confident and, like, you know, how to look confident in an interview. So I'll mm-hmm. just put someone to screen. I am always aware of the impression I make on other people. Uh, I feel oh, free. Okay. I feel free to be myself when I am with other people. I would agree. I learn how people use their bodies and faces to interact by watching television, films, or by reading fiction. Oh, I know those guys. I mean, yeah. I adjust my body language or facial expressions so that I appear relaxed. Because, uh... like, again, I've got, uh, when talking to other people, I feel like the conversation flows naturally. Yeah. I've spent time learning social skills from TV, shows, and films. Try to use those in my interactions. No. In social interactions, I do not pay attention to what my face and body are doing. I just try not to look angry. <laughs> like, because sometimes I'll just be like, right? Um, so I, but, but that's just because I've, yeah. in social situations, social situations, I feel like I am pretending to be normal. Man. No. Oh, you flunked out on this. 62. What does that mean? Average score. Oh, there's a there's a fucking What diff- does it mean? The average score for autistic people for girls is 124, boys is 109, and the NBs be 122. Right? That's the total. Right? So since you got 60. Yeah, what does that mean? 62. You, you failed. But what is where where do I land? Underneath everybody. These are the average cat Q scores of neurotypicals, which you also scored way underneath. Oh. So that's good. Huh, NBs have the highest average in every category. Huh. Does this mean I'm wearing a mask or that I don't have one? Oh, that makes perfect sense. What? People that identify as non-binary who are generally unhappy with the, um, like the, the, the performance of gender would score higher on this by default Huh? because it feels like they're faking it. 
At least that's how I so read it. So wait, that. I'm too stupid for this. Can you explain what that means for me? <laughs> uh, it means you're not camouflaging shit. You're you're way below. You're more genuine than even most neurotypical people. Yay! That's well, for for better or for worse, right? <laughs> Yay! No mask. Just tits out and everything. All right, well, the stream's over. I'm normal. Stream's over. Good night, everyone. Good night, No need everyone. to take this one. Okay, goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hey, what's up? You're a coward. <laughs> now get in there. All right. Get in there. Persona! That's nice. What, what song is that? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a slam dunk, is what that is. Oh. Come another than out here. All right, that's Pat a... just might be autistic. All right, nah, we we know we can't. Cause we know that his life will change. Burr, no, burr, we can't. We burr. can't. Uh, we can't do that. No, that's not, nothing. Here is uh, is no stamps. No stamps on the hand. Pat just might be autistic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah! Oh, sorry, <laughs> my sorry. eyes were kind of oh, close. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, no, I do not. I don't copy people's body language or facial expressions. That would that feels psycho. That feels like mirroring too strong. I monitor so I appear relaxed. Agree. I I rarely feel the need to put on an act disagree i've developed a script agree i'll repeat phrases that i've heard others say in the exact same way that i first heard them agree now don't forget there's st very strongly agree and like there's a remember there's oh a i spectrum. know okay. i'm well aware okay. yeah i'm aware aware there's a spectrum he's aware there's a spectrum i remember like he the, just might be i remember autistic. the other day after like four months of me saying this <laughs> Where you say something and I agree with you by saying that's right, Paige. You were like, wait, are you just saying it like fucking Jay does on Half in the Bag? And I went, I guess I am. You so are. <laughs> I guess that's I am. That's right, Paige. Oh. I adjust my body language so they appear interested. Absolutely. In social situations, I feel like performing. I would, uh, uh, somewhat. In my own social interactions, I use behaviors that I learn watching from other people interacting. Yes. I always think about the impression I make on other people. No. I rarely think about that. What? 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 I'm just here. What's happening? I'm just I, glad to be here. You seem to be having an emotion. I can't to, quite recognize the emotion you to, are going through right now. Have, happy to be here, babe. It would be easier for me to see the emotion you were having if you looked directly at me like this. Oh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> ah, all right. Oh. Uh, all right, all right. Uh. <laughs> I mean, you actually don't like it when I look at you too long. Well, too long is long. Not really. Well, wait, what do you consider too long? Well, when I... Remember, we actually had a discussion about eye contact not that long ago. How I'm like... Well, what are you really? talking about? Well, like, you look away <laughs> all the time. And I'm like, where are you going? What's over there? You know? Uh, anyway, keep going. Well... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Go on. No. No, I won't. He's looking at me in the eyes. Stare at him and time but it. But it oh, is too long. Oh, I'd win. I can always win the staring contests. Yeah, he, you are pretty good at staring. Yeah. It's the name of the channel. Hey. Uh. I need the support of other people to socialize. I would... 
I need no. I would I would neither agree or disagree. I think it's way easier to go to a new place when there's somebody like going to a party that somebody invited you to, but that person isn't physically there when you get there yeah. is pretty awkward. It's not unsalvageable, but it is like a lot easier if somebody handles sure. the introduction. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like you know, like they disappeared for a smoke break or some shit, yeah. and you're just like, oh, ooh. yeah. yeah, yeah. I practice my facial expressions and body language. No. I don't feel the need to make eye contact with people if I don't want to. I don't feel the need. So, like, when we go out to eat. Oh, I absolutely feel the need to make eye contact with people even if I don't want to. It's rude not to look people in the eye. People don't like that. Okay. Well, no, okay. It's not about what's... Like, do you do you feel the need? Like, like... Because, like, earlier you were like, because so wait, also I'm confused. You, you answered the opposite. I don't feel the need to make eye contact. Oh, I strongly I disagree. Yeah. The other thing is that earlier you were like, you don't care about what other people think of you. So, but now you're like, oh, that would be rude. Nah. Uh, oh. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I yeah, I guess. No. No, okay. if, if that's the case, then that's fine. I just want you to make sure you think about that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But it's, you know. Well, I don't want to come off rude, and people don't like it when you don't look at them when you talk to them. So you got to look at them. Well, are you masking though? What do you mean? Well, is it? And this is a question for you guys: Is it a mask for you to go? Oh, well, that's rude, so you do it anyway, or like, or is this about like how you innately feel? I don't know. Yes, you are masking, wise janitor. Are you doing it because you think of matching with social cues? Yeah, I don't want to do it. So then I think that means... Wait, where's the question? I don't feel the need to make eye contact. I absolutely feel the need to make eye contact, even if I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, Dyrdo says, do you make yourself look them in the eye, or is it a natural, despite the... Oh, yeah, every purpose? time, yeah. Because it's like aggression, like like a dog. So you don't want to give eye contact, naturally. No, of course not. Okay. So if you don't want to make eye contact... No, I don't, if you don't feel want to, the need. I absolutely feel the need to make eye contact with people, even if I don't want to. Lady Saga says, I think the difference here is that you have to think about think about doing it or not. Mm-hmm. So is it natural for you to make eye contact, or is it unnatural for you to make eye contact? Yeah, no, Pat's saying, okay. I no, I, yeah, okay. Okay. Then, okay. Uh, I have to force myself to interact. No, sometimes, sometimes I'm not. There's like a certain time limit where you can be somewhere without talking to anybody that's fine, and then you pass over that, and then it's kind of gets weird. Yeah. Right? So, like, you, like, I don't like, know. What do, what do you mean? <sighs> like, like social battery? No, like a party or like a social event or something like that. You can like yeah. chill doing whatever task or whatever the fuck you want to do for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, depending on where you're at and what's happening. Mm -hmm. But if you stand there or whatever for like fucking 20, 30, 45 oh, fucking yeah. minutes and you're just sitting in the corner going like, they don't know that I'm a YouTuber. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've tried to improve my understanding of social skills by watching other people. Absolutely. I monitor my language or facial expressions. So I appear interested. Absolutely. When in social situations, I try to avoid finding, uh, try to find ways of avoiding with other, uh, interacting with others. I would say I could take it or leave it depending. That's true. Yeah. I've researched the rules of social interactions to improve my own social skills. Absolutely. Uh, but that was when I was a kid. When I was, like, a baby. Mm. I'm always aware of the impression I make on other people. I guess I am. Wait. Wait, that's the same as before, but is it accurate? Wait, is it... What's the... You think... I think, think about, about it. Or are you aware? Oh, no. I'm, I'm wildly unaware, actually. I feel free to be myself when I'm with other people. No. 
I learned to, to how to. Uh, I learned how people use their bodies and faces to interact by watching televisions or films or reading fiction. Nah. I just my shit so I appear relaxed. I would agree. When talking to other people, I feel like it flows naturally. Absolutely. Unless they're really weird. You'd say I'm... Oh, I'm, yeah. You're yeah. great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, especially... Remember, um, we're going to the, the barbecue again, but remember the barbecue and you yeah. were like... You were like... You were cooler than I was. Yeah, and then I went home and I laid down and didn't move for two hours. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that, that part was weird. Yeah, because we went to... We went to... Uh, we went to a barbecue... And I was like, hey, who, 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 and, you know, doing the thing. And Paige was like, she was like, you weren't a wallflower, but you were, like, normal. I'd say you were, like, right in the middle of, who like, me? yeah. Oh, yeah. You were, like, a little nervous, but, like, you had a nice chat with a bunch of people. Well, I, I wanted to make a good impression. Right. And then I came back, and you're like, wow, Pat, you were, like, a... Social butterfly. Uh, right. And I'm like, yeah, great. And then I just laid down on the floor in the living room and yeah. didn't move for multiple hours. That is true. And you were like, why are you doing that? I'm like, uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've spent time learning social skills from television and TV shows. Try and use these. Uh, not really. In my social interactions, I do not pay attention to what my face and body are doing. Absolutely not. I do. In social situations, I feel like I am pretending to be normal. Eh, somewhat. All right. Oh, uh, that's that's pretty. Is that hard. a lot? Uh, let's see what what boys. Oh, that's pretty high. That's hot. That's high even for burr, autistic people. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> he just might be autistic. So, uh, either I don't have autism or, or I'm really good at it. Are you are you their king? <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you no, the, that that are you the autism king? No, the not yet kid is. I don't think he's autistic. Do, do, do they want to claim him? No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now I'm not talking about this on the podcast, and you can't make me. Why uh, not? Because I want to. But what? Oh, okay. Well, then. Just wondering. <laughs> Weird. Because I don't want Wooly to sit there and just giggle behind his eyes for fucking three hours. <laughs> why? You? Why would you deny Wooly this? <sighs> Paige, what the fuck does that say in the chat? Where? The Quisats Hatterack of autism? I don't know what that means. What the fuck I is that? Know. What is it? Is that a sandwich? Oh, it's Dune? Oh, I don't know anything about Dune. <laughs> Empathy quotient. Measures your ability to tune in to how someone is feeling or what they All might right. be thinking. We're going to fly through these. I will fly through it. Ready? Here. Let's go. Paige, go how's first. your empathy? Ready, set. Five to ten minutes. This is perfect. Awesome. Ready? Hit it. Here we go. You got that empathy? I can easily tell if someone else wants to enter a conversation. Yes. I prefer animals to humans. Oh, this is... I like animals, too. I like animals, too. Go faster. Oh, but I like animals... I like every... I like... I mean... But uh, do you prefer them? I mean, I don't... No, I know. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. I try to keep up with the current trends and fashions. Yeah, yeah. I try. I fail. Well, I fail slightly. I find it difficult to explain to others that I understand easily when they don't understand... I find it difficult to explain to others things. What the what fuck? The, is this a joke? Sorry, this, you, do you, under, you know what I'm saying? Is this question I a fucking trick? I find it difficult to explain to others things that I understand easily when they don't under. Is this a this is a trap? Hey, if, uh, what you know a topic intimately, but do you have a hard time explaining it to somebody else that doesn't know it? Can you say that again? Do you? Oh my god! I, sorry, I'm like. I'm do a, you find it difficult? To explain a topic that you're highly familiar with. No. Okay. Thank you. Even if they don't understand it the first time. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, uh, I don't know. Uh, I dream most nights, yes. You absolutely do. I really enjoy caring for people, yes. 
I try to solve my own problems rather than discussing with others. No, I love to talk about all my stupid shit. I find it hard to know what to do in a social situation. Ah, no. I'm at my best first thing in the morning. <laughs> ah, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Fine. People often tell me that I went too far in driving my point home in a discussion. Ah, uh, yeah. It doesn't bother me too much if I'm late. Meeting a friend, absolutely not. I hate it. Friendships and relationships are just too difficult, so I tend not to bother with them. Absolutely. Oh. Wait, wait, I want to make sure I did that right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never break a law no matter how minor. <laughs> I've broken a couple. Slightly. Uh, I often find it difficult to judge if something is rude. Well, whatever. I often find it difficult to judge if something is rude or polite. Uh, no. Uh, in a conversation, I tend to focus on my own thoughts rather than on what my listener might be thinking. Uh, disagree. I prefer practical jokes to verbal humor. Uh, uh, uh I do like practical jokes. I live life for today rather than, oh, I'll put it slightly. I live life for today rather than the future. Uh. No, you're future oriented. Yeah, I'm very, yeah. When I was a child, I enjoyed cutting up worms to see what would happen. Absolutely. Whoa. In fact, I look for them in my burgers. I can pick up quickly if someone says one thing but means another. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. I tend to have very strong opinions about morality. Uh, uh, Morality's easy, and if you don't think so, you're stupid. It's, it's, that's hard. Uh it's hard for me to see why some things upset people so much. Disagree. I find it easy to put myself in someone else's shoes. Absolutely easy. I think that good manners are the most important thing a parent can teach their child. Ooh. Uh, I no, think, the most I think important is... thing a parent can teach their child is to wrap it up. Oh, my God. I actually, I actually do agree with this. I think that if you... T what is it? Uh, if you teach your child... Uh, what's the word? Um socially socially desirable mm -hmm. children tend to be more successful and the way you do that is to um, make sure they know how to share you know make sure they know how to you know work well with they adults don't, they don't poop in their hand and fling it yeah i like to do things on the spur of the moment absolutely i'm good at predicting how someone will feel yes actually you are you're very good <laughs> quite good i am quick to spot when someone in a group is feeling awkward or uncomfortable yes if I say something that someone else is offended by, I think that's their problem, not mine. Um, I mean, you fuck know, off, I, Victos. I, I disagree. I think you know it's part partially my issue. I don't know. Or my, or the, it's, oh, it's their man. issue, but my. This is the bad, hardest question so far. If anyone asked me if I liked their haircut, I would reply truthfully, even if I didn't like it. Oh, if anyone asked me if I liked their haircut, I would probably. Um, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Like that's making me anxious. I would say that it's French. I can't always see why someone should have felt off. Wait, hold on. I can't always see why someone should have felt offended. Uh, I can usually parse it out. People often tell me that I am very unpredictable. Uh, sometimes. I enjoy being the center of attention at any social gathering. Yeah. Seeing people cry doesn't really upset me. Very much disagree. I saw someone cry the other day and I started crying. I enjoy having discussions about politics. Uh, I mean, uh, I, 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 yes and no. I don't know. Yes and no. I am very blunt, which some people take to be rudeness, even though this is unintentional. So, uh... Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't find social situations confusing. Other people tell me... Wait, you just said you do... Oh, sorry, do... sorry, sorry. I don't... Wait, hold on. I don't find social... That means you do find social situations. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I can't... I apparently have no, like, my literacy is super poor, I guess. Other people tell me I am good at understanding how they are feeling and what they're thinking. Yes. I say that. You are good. Oh, thank you. 
When I talk to people, I tend to talk about their experiences rather than my own. Ah, uh, disagree with that. It upsets me to see an animal in pain. Absolutely. I'm able to make decisions without being influenced by people's feelings. Mm, I am influenced to a degree. I can't relax until I have done everything I had planned to do that day. I was I would say that's accurate yeah, that's actually. True. I can easily tell if someone else is interested or <laughs> They're talking about did fucking I, Warhammer in there. Did I choose <laughs> You think I chose wrong? You have to understand I'm I'm also going by the way I am in like real life, not how I am here. This is like a horrible stereotype occurring in the chat what is, right what, now. What's happening? They're arguing about Warhammer shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> did I did I answer incorrectly, someone said? No, you're I'm good. confused. Okay. I can easily tell if someone is interested or bored with what I'm saying. <laughs> I think I think so. Uh well, I think you wanted slightly disagree. For where? Which one? This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. I get Thank a water. You. Uh, I get upset if I see people suffering on news programs. Absolutely. Um, uh, friends usually talk to me about their problems as they say I'm very understanding. Yes. I can sense if I am intruding even if the other person doesn't tell me. Yeah, probably usually. Uh, I often start new hobbies but quickly become bored with them and move on to something else. Yeah, a little bit. People sometimes tell me that I have gone too far with teasing. Uh, I've, yeah, I have. I would be too nervous to go on a roller coaster. Uh, no. Well, uh, slightly disagree. Other people often say that I am insensitive, even though I don't always see why. No. If I see a stranger in a group, I think it is up to them to make an effort to join in. No. I usually stay emotionally detached when watching a film. No. I like to be very organized in day-to-day -day life and often make lists of the chores I have to do. <laughs> Yeah, big yeah, time. You, yeah, you I really like your I lists, do. Honey. I love I love making lists. Uh, I can tune into how someone else feels rapidly and intuitively. Yeah. I don't like to take risks. Absolutely, I love taking risks. She loves it. I can easily work out what another person might want to talk about. Yeah. I can tell if someone is masking their true emotion. Yes. Before making a decision. Why'd you look at me? Well, because you've seen me do it in what front of you. What does that mean? No, no, you've seen, you've seen me do it. I couldn't Whatever. tell. Whatever. Um, before making a decision, I always weigh the pros and cons. Yes, actually. I don't consciously work out the rules of social situations. Uh, yeah, I don't. Con yeah. I am good at predicting what someone will do. Yes. I tend to get emotionally involved with a friend's problems. Yes. I can usually appreciate the other person's viewpoint, even if I don't agree with it. Yes. All right. Uh, score your shit up. All right. Here we go. 68. 68. Well, there's no fucking score breakdown. Well, oh. What does that mean, then? Oh, that's... Oh. What, what, is, what? Oh. what does it mean? Oh, it's at the top for some reason. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh. Scoring range. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Higher that's score. Good. Higher score... 68. Means, means less. Okay, so, okay. Yay. You scored good on empathy. Good Yay. empathy. Good empathy. Good job, honey. Empathy. I'm really proud of you. I'm telling you that so you know how I feel. Wow, do you feel it? I feel do it. Do you feel it? How, do you feel it? I'm feeling it. feeling it? I am feeling Where it. Where do you feel it? Uh, here? Yeah, nice. It's hot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Of course you're a, you're an empath. I'm an empath. No, you are an empath. You know. You are. No. You have the magical power to understand people's emotions no. by looking at them. No. All right. Are you ready, Patrick? How empathic oh, are you? Oh, it's still, uh, it's oh, still it? your thing. Oh, yeah. Re uh, refresh me. Wait, hold on. Wait, maybe it's not. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. okay ready, set, go. I can easily tell if somebody wants to enter a conversation. No. I prefer animals to humans. Yes. I try to keep up with trends. No. I find it difficult to explain to others that I understand easily when they don't understand the first time. I would say slightly agree. I dream most nights. No. I really enjoy caring for other people. Slightly agree. I try to solve my own problems before the discussing them. Yes. I find it hard to know what to do in a social situation. Slightly disagree. I'm at my best in the morning. Fuck that. 
People tell me I went too far. Yeah, they do. It doesn't bother me if I'm late. It super bothers me a lot. Friendships are too difficult. That's that's not true. Friendships are nice. I would never break a law. Fuck that. Laws are suggestions. <laughs> By the people in power. What are you going to do with the man tells you what to do? Okay, just d stop doing your taxes. No, they're going to get you for that. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to fuck your shit up on that. I find, oh man, can't I just kill somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I know, even the Joker won't fuck yeah. with the IRS. Yeah. Uh, 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 let's see. I often find it difficult to judge if something's rude or polite. Yeah. In a conversation, I like to focus on my own thoughts rather than what my listener might be thinking. I, I would say slightly disagree. I prefer practical jokes to verbal humor. Nah, practical jokes have a wild tendency to go way too far. You don't know what any particular person's tolerance for a practical yeah, joke that's is. That's true. Like, what, what would... Like, would I be like, ah, like you might terrify you or vice versa, well, depending you, on you it. You know what? Like I like is you take the egg and you take a needle and you poke the bottom of the egg mm -hmm. and you get all the yolk out. Right. And then you put the empty yeah. ones back in the carton and then watch people like crack it open. Yeah. That one's silly. Yeah. But that's like, but that's, but that's not, that's just like a th confusion. But then there's like falling asleep with yeah. the sleepover and then your boys like remove that part of your skull yeah. that protects your hindbrain. Right. Yeah. No, like, you because I, I like, conf I like mild confusion <laughs> practical jokes. It's not slightly wasteful. I didn't say, and then I threw away the eggs. No, you, you just slurped it. Uh, I live life for today. Absolutely. When I was a child, I enjoyed cutting up worms. Fuck no. Yeah, that's weird. Psycho shit. I could pick up quickly if somebody says one thing or he needs another. I guess I'll say slightly disagree based off our earlier conversation. Wait, what? You can pick up quickly if somebody means one thing and said me that. I tend to have strong opinions. Yeah, morality uh, is easy. Every uh, philosopher is stupid. It's uh, like that. What would you do in this situation? I would do this. It's the easiest thing in the world. Uh, it's hard for me to see why some things upset people so much. Yeah, sometimes. I find it easy to put myself in somebody else's shoes. I don't know. You did wear my boots that one time. Hey! Ha ha ha. We <laughs> made the same joke like three times. I know, I know, I know, I uh, know. Not really. I think good manners are the most important thing. No, I disagree. Really, what's the most important thing? Good morality. I mean, I hope the child won't murder. I think teaching like, your your children to be a good person is more important than teaching them to play nice. Because I've known a lot of people who played nice but were scum. What? I guess so. I met a lot of people who were like polite scumbags. I, I guess so. I... In my heart, I feel like that's kind of innate. Like I, I, I would like to think. No, that you gotta child... No, kids can be evil. You gotta teach them good. Yeah, but like I, like I mean, I'm like teach them not to hit, right? But like then yeah. there's, you know, m murder and hurting animals and things like that. I'm hoping you don't have to. Yeah, teach but that's not child, morality. You know, I guess so. I like to do things spur of the moment. Fuck no, I don't. I'm good at predicting how people will feel. No. I'm quick to spot when somebody feels awkward. Oh, yeah, I actually am. Because the, the awkward people are, are weird looking. Uh, if I say something, someone's offended. I think that's their problem. I slightly disagree. It's their emotional problem, but it's my practical problem. Uh, if somebody asks me if I like their haircut, I would reply truthfully. I, I would slightly disagree. Like, how happy are they with the haircut? <laughs> right? Like, do they really like it? Are they walking around with, like, baby Karen as the haircut? Something wrong? Hmm? Oh, no. Oh, you're I'm, just... Just, I'm just reading. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't always see why somebody should have felt offended. Should have felt offended? That's just kind of word phrasing, but, yeah, I can't always see. People tell me that I'm unpredictable. No one has ever told me that in my entire life. Yeah. 
You're pretty, you're pretty predictable. I enjoy being the center of attention. Slightly disagree. Seeing people cry doesn't really upset me. Slightly agree. I enjoy political discussions. Hmm. Not with you people. <laughs> but in general, yes. I am very blunt. But it's unintentional. Yeah, I'd say I'd say so. I'd say I'm a little blunt. I don't find social situations confusing. Eh, slightly disagree. Some can. Uh, you saying a loser fried this rice, Gabe Sweetman? Other people th tell me I'm good at understanding how they are feeling and what they're thinking. No one has ever told me that. When I talk to people, I tend to talk about their experiences rather than my own slightly disagree upsets me to see sad animal absolutely i'm able to make decisions without being influenced by other people's feelings i would definitely agree with that i can't relax until i've done everything i needed to do yes i can easily tell if somebody's interested or bored slightly disagree i get upset if i people seeing on the suffering on the news i know nah, i don't um like it sucks but i don't, I don't feel it bummer right yeah it's like oh that sucks that that's happening oh, to those people geez. or oh that's terrible i hope that doesn't happen to anybody i know right darn oh shucks yeah that's right Jeez. friends t what nothing, nothing what nothing i just you're silly you judging me over there i yeah for fun <laughs> I remember uh, yesterday, you're like, I'm, I'm afraid that they'll think I'm judgmental. And I'm like, you are judgmental. I'm showing you my empathy. <laughs> Wait, who, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I can, be I can be empathetic and judgy. That's true. You can totally... Listen, they are not mutually exclusive. I can feel your yeah. pain and also go... <laughs> yeah, I understand how you feel that way, but you made the wrong decision. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Friends talk uh, to me about their problems and say that I'm very understanding. No. I can sense if I'm intruding. Oh, yeah. I can sense if I'm intruding. I often start new hobbies and become bored and shit. No. People tell me I've gone too far with teasing. They have sometimes told me that. Rush unplugged. No. Uh, I'd be too nervous to go on a big roller coaster. I, I was, but then I did, and now I like roller coaster. Yeah, roller coasters can be fun. Other people say I'm insensitive, but I don't always see why. What's wrong? Oh, uh, my phone died. Oh, Sorry. the way you s just uh, just I if Zangief yeah. texts us. So maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's my inability to understand people's emotions. Blah. But Paige, like like her phone will die, and she'll be like, Shh, "Fuck!" And I'm like, "Oh no, what's I going know, on?" I like so like <laughs> like I'll like like I'll like drop like a little bit of makeup onto my sink, and I'll be like, "Fuck!" Fuck! And Pat thinks like I broke my ankle. <laughs> Just like. If I see a stranger in a group, I think it's up to them to make an effort to join. Uh, I'd slightly disagree. I stay emotionally detached when watching a film. No. I like to be organized and make lists. Not really, actually. I can tune in to how somebody feels rapidly and intuitively. No. I don't like to take risks. That's right. I easily work out. What, why are you shaking your head? Did just, I just? Are yeah, you calling me a risk taker? You are, you are the most predictable man I've ever met oh, in my life. Okay. Stability is important. It's so true. <laughs> the same peanut butter sandwich. Listen. Every morning. Oh my it god! Works. My mother. So my mother is gonna come visit uh, at some point, and she's like, "I have some requests," and I'm like. Okay. She's like, first of all, I must have a bed. And I'm like, <laughs> what an insane yeah. request. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you'll have your own room. It's, like, nice. Yeah. Yeah, mother-in-law. We'll let you fucking sleep. Yeah, you'll, I'll allow you to sleep on up. She is a writer. Green M&M's only. So, like, I'm like, yeah, bitch, of course. Um, She might be here. It'll be funny. But I'm like, yeah, of course. And she's like, and I need a warm blanket because I get cold in the morning. And I'm like, 
Yeah, yeah you'll yeah, have a bl- I guess yeah, we'll Mom, give you a you, blanket. You can have a blanket. Like, I have a really nice, like, what super comfy... What the fuck is she expecting? I don't know. Mom, may... into the pit with you. Like, yeah, like, what does she think of me? Like, I've I've lived in some, like, nice places. What is, like... I don't know what she did. Was she and then, and then and then anyway anyway the, where I'm going with this, and she kept being like, and I need a warm blanket, and I might need to borrow some socks because my little feet get cold in the more in the morning. I'm like, yeah, and I need a coffee pot to make coffee in the morning. I must have. We have a coffee machine. My coffee. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Do you want a latte or drip coffee, whatever you want? And she's like, and I must have one and a half. Blueberry Pop Tarts toasted. And I was like, okay, wait. <laughs> well, all right. I'm like, all right, well, um, one and a half. Sure. And she's like, do you have a toaster? And I'm like, like yeah, we got a toaster. Yeah, lady. I, we have like a fabulous, like, we got a nice it's toaster. like genuine, like a super nice toaster. Um, and she's like, she's like, well, I have to have that in the morning. I'm like, and a glass of 2% organic cow's milk. Like, all right, well, what, uh, like, what if I don't have that? In, because in in, uh, in Canada, like, for some reason, I can never find hey. the blueberry Pop-Tarts. So I said, hey, you might need, if you just have to be blueberry, can can you t- do, like, strawberry? You want me to message Zangief? Uh, no, no we'll, we'll be done in a second. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm just like, I'm, and she was like, she was like, well, I guess strawberry will do. But none of that s'more shit. I'm like, all right. You should have just said no s'mores shit. Because s'mores uh, Pop-Tarts are terrible. Th- that is true. Yeah. Yeah. They're awful. Yeah. But, uh, but but she's right. Blue The blueberry is the best. But she's like, I have to have that when I wake up with my coffee. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't know. S'more Pop Tarts is so gross. Don't like them. It, for some reason, they taste like cigarette ash. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking like, about. Like, if cigarette ash were sweet and not like. And not like in the way that the barbecue <coughs> pit boys do it. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. I just. That, what a that, that, strange just, made me, thing to that say. just made me think of that. I can easily work out what another person might want to talk about. Eh, disagree. I can tell if somebody's masking their true emotion. Sometimes, sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Before making a decision, I weigh up the pros and cons. Yeah, totally. I don't consciously work out the rules of social situations. Definitely disagree. I'm good at predicting people. Not really. I tend to get emotionally involved with friends' problems. Not really. I can usually appreciate another person's viewpoint, even if I don't agree with it. Sometimes. Score. Oh, how empathetic are you? Not really. Oh, okay. Uh, it's up. Oh. Huh? Okay. What? No. No. There Here it is. We go. There it is. Oh. Oh. That's great. Don't tie like that. Uh, Don't highlight that. Uh, Stop highlighting things. It makes them hard to read. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my gosh, you're the crowned king. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well... Are you happy now, Paige? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling. No, I mean I can't tell. So once again, these are not diagnostic. Oh, tests. it's funny every time. These oh are man, just, these are tests that you take. <laughs> these are tests that you take to go. Hey. Oh, I don't want the same Maybe fucking score as Queequeg. About Queequeg's a fucking oh my, asshole. My hair is so greasy. <laughs> huh? Nothing. All right. So who won <laughs> autism today? I think we all did. I think we all won today. <laughs> we all did it. Anyway, let us give thanks, and then we have to go uh, get Zangief. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's nothing, nothing's, uh, nothing's diagnostic. Uh, the autism was the friends we made. Uh huh. Let's just go ahead and. Wait, this is the wrong. No, this is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. Fine. Uh, I need to find the other one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that stream. <laughs> Sorry about L.A. Noir. We try. We really tried. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. And once again, not diagnostic, but if you did get a high score or low score, as it were, congratulations. Consider speaking to someone if you wish for more elaboration on that. Unless you live in Australia. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't do yeah, that. Be, be careful. Uh, don't get a mental health diagnosis in Australia. Yeah, don't do uh, that. The don't... government there can use it to uh, remove some of your social benefits. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. I mean, look into that, obviously, but that's what that's what we heard. Yeah. Yeah, they might take your kids away. So if you you've got autism in Australia, just um, stop. <laughs> Yeah, just just you know, turn it, turn just that turn around. it, just turn it down, Shh. just turn it down. So silly. Yeah. <clears throat> Reconsider. Yeah. Yeah. T man four five one sub. Thank you. Sorted hero zero one two three one. Thank you. So did Birdie Galore. Thank you again. So did Susie the Sphere Hunter. Thank Thanks, you, Susie. Susie. Rain Ryu kicked in a sub to say catching up on the podcast and just want to say Glob Herman fucking rules. One of my favorite mutants. It's the guy with no skin. Ah. He's all goo. Eh. Yeah. I have to go. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. So how does Angie for me? I will. Will you, will you get my phone? I'm just gonna slide away. Where the fuck's your phone? There. Like, when, when, when you come back, I'm just gonna slide away. Why are you sliding away? It's fun this way. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Bye. It is. Oh, don't forget your charger, Goodbye. baby. Don't forget your charger. Goodbye. Don't forget. Don't forget your charger's right Goodbye. there. Goodbye. I don't understand why she did that. So they don't see my butthole. Your butthole's not out, woman. What? You've been wearing pants the whole time, Paige. Osprey works sub. 33 months. Resub because my new job is great. I appreciate you guys for getting me through the last 10 years of the previous hellhole. Cheers. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Gabe Sweetman kicked in a sub. Thanks, Gabe Sweetman. Congrats, Paige. You've defeated the specter of autism. But maybe, just maybe, the true autism was the brain damage you got along the way. It might be. It might be. Oh, I gotta move this. Oh, wait, that's why. I'm like, why does it look so fucking weird? It's because it's not zoomed in. I like to zoom it in, brother. Hold on a second. Webcam configure camera control one thirty something. Now I'm closer. Hello. Look at X Bob back there. All right. Smooth friend sub to say do it. Thanks, smooth friend. I appreciate it. All right. Hero Toxico subbed. This lighting makes me look unsettling. Be unsettled then as I make long term eye contact with you. Um. Hero Toxico says, whatever the answer the test gives, you're still built different in our hearts. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Kai9 kicked in five bucks. Thanks, man. Congrats on your autism diagnosis. Here's your software engineering job and your commemorative t-shirt telling people not to yell loudly in your face. Yeah, but that's only if you got that math autism, right? Some people got that music autism. Some people got that Transformers autism. Some people got that dirt quality autism. You know? 
Ooh, art? Art autism? That seems like a good one. Train? Just Janice, did you just say the word train? <laughs> you didn't even do a sentence. You just said train. Kind I kicked in five bucks. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. If somebody works in a field where I could say conservatively, people massively over self diagnose themselves. I've come to associate the word with people who are overpaid and underbullied and told me about crypto. Yeah, so self diagnosis is tough. Uh, it's a very complex topic. Um, it's not inherently valid. However, depending on where you live, you may in fact be too poor to get a mental health diagnosis that would allow you to receive accommodations. So, you know, like, also the quality of every individual therapist or psychotherapist or psychiatrist is going to vary wildly. So it's, it's tough. Sucker Punch Sid kicked in a sub to say 64 months. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you. Drake Devar gifted four subs. Thanks. Oh, five subs. Why did it say four there for a second? Drake, Drake Devar, 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 thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Spider-Man says there's no benefits. That's not necessarily true. There are some, but good luck getting them. And depends on the country you live. Uh, GLG Zephyr sub. Thank you. So glad that I got sick yesterday. Could watch the stream as a result. This has been a delight the whole way through. Why, thank you. Thank you. I hope you had fun. Draw on my download sub to say burp in my mouth, Pat. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. B Moral 64 kicked in a sub to say autistic. It's not very nice by itself. So it's tough because self-diagnosis is inherently invalid. However, uh, certain neurotypes are probably wildly underdiagnosed. I think, I think my favorite uh, breakdown is. Um, my favorite example was, you know, back in my day, we didn't have all these people with the autism. And you'd be like, yeah, really? Grandpa, who had his special chair you weren't allowed to sit in and needed his blanket that wasn't too heavy or too hot or too cold just so he could rest right and spent all day collecting pieces of cars just in case he might need one despite not owning a car was totally normal <laughs> right like you never know tom atlas kicked in a sub say oh hey it's the test i also totally failed good job nichos seven kicked in a sub thank you oh you know what my favorite one was was a dude that was like, oh, yeah, we never had these people when I was a kid. And it's like, yeah, you know what? You're right. The the My next door neighbor who had a $1.2 million model train collection who wrote the city every day for a year because the street lights were too loud was super normal. <laughs> The picture of mental health. <laughs> to me, the it's the street lights are too loud is the is the is the one that really like kicks it. Mornica kicked in a sub. Thanks, Mornica. Misty Mountains kicked in a sub. I come back from working three conventions and two roller games to derby roller games to this. Shouldn't have expected anything less. Happy autism. Oh my god, it's autism awareness month? Oh my god, I didn't even notice. 
Yeah, some lights do be loud. Uh, the, the lights that are shit and you didn't screw in all the way, they have an active buzz that everyone can hear. But that's not what people are talking about. Catch them all, 117 sub. Thanks, man. Glad I got to make the scream and not have to work. See, this, this test do work. Ooh. Reminds me that I also have to get this done so that I can get back to actually working. Well, get back to work then. I hope you enjoy it, though. Theophilia sub. Thanks, man. And Sandrews kicked in a $15. Thank you. Uh, hey, Pat and Paige. Going through a small but tough time. Both of your streams help with it. Also, Paige, if Paige wrote a cookbook, was it just a PDF of recipes? I'd buy it. Oh, that's sweet. I'm going to send that to her, Sandrews. That's very nice of you to say. Quick, quick says, I've been told to ask the follow up question of where the flame rounds are in Claire's route. Oh, man. That's that's tough, actually. Um, that's really tough. Um, because she's got like fucking forty of them across uh two campaigns. So that's at least six or seven different locations times two, and they're different. Ah, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Well, actually, I would be able to tell you, but uh, it would take me an hour and 45 minutes. And it would be this. Small desk next to the library? Is the first one? <laughs> like the one that you need to use the lockpick on? I think it is. Um, Mr. Boris Makarov kicked in a sub to say have money. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Kai and I kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Kai. Persona, starring people who failed the autism test, be like, you think your hair could be nicer, I guess. <sighs> That'd be rough. You know what? That actually really bothered me about, um, what's her name? Uh, Futaba, where she's supposed to be a complete shut in, neat, but she dresses in really stylish clothes. Like, I, I understand that the character should has to be cool so people like them, but like, it's it's really at odds. Oh, bad guy kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. No way you fucking scored lower than me on the rads. I scored 150. Lamau. Ha ha. <laughs> Senior Papel. <laughs> Suck it. No bad guy. I'm, I'm the winner. Uh, Senior Papel kicked in a sub. Thank you. I can't believe Paige failed her autism test. Does that mean she has to go back to school? Yep. Absolutely. I'm not happy with the placement on this. Is that better? Yes. DJ Wasley sub. Thank you. I appreciate it. That brown guy 64 subscribe. Thank you. Uh, Blastio Boots kicked in five bucks. Thanks, man. 
I know Pat's been on top of this dozens of times before, but as an autistic person myself with a great armchair diagnosis record, Pat's scores all feel like comorbidity, not autism. Masking empathy differences and OCD will score very similar. That's right. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah. So there. Kai nine kicked in five. Thank you. I appreciate it, Kai. My favorite example of back in my day we didn't have mental illness is my Korean grandpa inheriting his mother's Christian holier than thou attitude, but about min maxing value efficiency, resulting in fifty years of golden corral dinners. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Better demon subbed. So much love to you and Paige. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Obsessive copium disorder is pretty good, Louie. Thank you. And rag a squid sub to give money. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Now we're all going to leave and no one is going to make any assumptions going forward about anybody ever again. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow for FF7. Bye-bye. I missed the button. Fuck.